Hello everybody and uh, welcome CPFR Squadrons to a while after quite a few amazing games that we had during this week. We're gonna go into this weekend and on a Friday evening for the Boomer APMs going against their opponents tonight. We're gonna have the middle move. Ooh, is that a middle mouse move or something? Oh, well, I guess we're gonna need to see what uh, they're gonna pull up uh, today. This is a new team that uh, we haven't covered before. We did see Boomer APMs before, so definitely we know a little bit about them, but middle move, not so much. It looks like uh, we do have also Anonymous Gifter being very generous tonight. Thank you so much, sir, for the two gifted subs. Much appreciated, much appreciated. Uh, I do also see Reladon. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Glad to see you. Hope uh, you enjoy the content, and of course, uh, I can still deliver. I am still thinking about quite a few things for youtube but hopefully i'm gonna also put them into uh, action also senior um, sour cream thank you so much sir uh, welcome welcome uh i did see a rambling man for 20 picking up that first promotion uh, right before i had the problems with uh, twitch and thank you so much sir for um um, picking it up for being first over there. We do have also Mumulau. Oh, good evening, sir, and welcome. Kvika, hello there, sir, and welcome back. I did also notice we do have an Atro2, uh, 0225 who did pick up the second first promotion. I don't know how that happened, but it did happen. And of course, big shout out to you. Thank you so much, sir. I do also see Cleozin. Oh, good enough in my head. Hey, welcome. Let me actually uh, switch the screens over here so uh, we get to see. I do need to click buttons uh, so you get to see also what I see. Give me a second. There we go. And this is another second. And boom, we do actually have the map being chosen. Pangea Standard. I gotta say, this is a kind of a dangerous map for the middle move. In the last game, I checked out the results for uh, Boomer APMs. They did manage to get a win. 10-38. That is so quick. Oh, man, oh, man, I, got, I, I gotta say, I love it. The, the players are starting to get uh, um, a lot better at the game. And uh, even if uh, we do cover Division 2 or Division 3 teams, oh, my God, there's uh, so much talent on there. This is amazing. Draconin, good evening, sir, and welcome. I do see Marco. Hello there. Bună seara, domnule, și bine venit. Ce mai faci? I do also notice the players are going for their uh, bands over here. Uh, we do have two bands on one side, two bands on the other. Boomer APMs are going to be the ones uh, that are going to uh ban on the left side and on the right side we do have the middle move and as you can see over here we do have Sejong being banned by uh, boomer apm looks like hunger is not gonna get to play and uh, lincoln also is gonna get an axe i gotta say lincoln over here is still uh, in the main bbg it's not the beta yet so we don't have uh, that uh, nerf um that's uh, coming up uh, on the right side we do have uh, middle move going for Khmer and uh, cleopatra patrol maker on uh, to ban over here as the first two choices they do need to uh, pick another three here and we're gonna need to see what they are uh, gonna go for and um, by the looks of it in the chat over here, we do have also turn 38 uh, that's a fast cc jesus yeah i know i know it's it's quite fast what do i have here oh oh give me a second over here uh, so i can uh, see uh, so i can show you actually the results i did notice them uh, ooh, and then give, me, give me a second there was there were in a channel over here there we go there we go check this out check this out boys oh my god well i guess they're getting specialized over here boomer apm's definitely getting specialized um mm -mm -mm. oh they did actually play wait a second they did play against r2d2 and r2d2 did manage to take snatch a victory from them a 1091 uh let me uh actually open up can you see this guy no you can see it. there we go um so uh, there we go turn 88 part cc this is uh, boomer apm managing to snatch that victory by the looks of it against the uh, inter but this was played on uh inland sea uh, no actually that's a band what, what did it, this is lakes this is lakes okay this is lakes and i was watching a little bit um, further down over here uh, this one this one oh wait a second uh, yeah victor uh, parsi seat and, and wait is this actually la tribu de fana winning over boomer apms or is this boomer apms winning against la tribu de fana what is this can any frenchy actually give me a an idea over here um Anyway, back uh, to the band phase, we do have uh, Gandhi being taken down by middle move. It looks like also Canada is going to be uh, taken down by uh, Boomer APM on uh, the left side as the fourth band. Uh, then immediately Scotland is not going to be allowed to in the game by the middle moves here. Uh, Pangea Standard is a map that uh, does allow a lot of uh, land warfare. So you can imagine the players are uh, going to try as much as possible to um, get themselves advantages in uh, some of those, uh, picking some of those civilizations and denying them from their opponents. Now we're going to need to see 
see what kind of a mix um, of uh, civilizations they're gonna go for we've seen multiple times how it is quite important for the players uh, to have a good mix between them and especially if uh, they are um, uh, running a high risk actually uh, of um, having one of their players actually in a real position or something that uh, he cannot do what uh, his job was there in the game for example yesterday we did see Kree was a major part of uh, the synergy between um, the, um, the civilizations they picked especially because they did have Arabia on their side oh my god and Russia at the same time like you can imagine um, Kree over there because he couldn't actually do that much gold during the game he had the potential but unfortunately uh, he was uh, next to his uh, very aggressive neighbors there and uh, well his neighbors actually managed to out uh, match him and that was quite uh, a painful to watch and um, we've uh, actually heard them answer at the end of the game that uh, it was very important to have that synergy to have Kree generate that goal to have Kree uh, give them uh, the resources they need uh, looks like uh, we do have also Raja being taken down here by middle move. That's the last ban from the first phase, uh, while uh, also Grand Colombia is going to be taken down by Boomer APMs. Now we do see uh, the first picks, and uh, the first pick is going to go to Boomer APM. Two other picks in the second wave will be from middle move, and then uh, the fourth pick will go for uh, Boomer APM. Cynthia, I like this. I like this. Uh, we're getting into that uh, war immediately. I mean, this definitely sets the tone for the game. What the, what does everybody think over here with Cynthia yeah, being picked up by Boomer APM? I'm pretty sure we're going to have quite a bit of action. Pangeas and the Ridges does uh, actually um, uh, spawn the mountains, um, how would I say, uh, randomly. Uh, you don't uh, actually wait. No, 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 no. It spawns them along the continents, uh, along the continents. Yes, yes, yes. This is standard ridges, not uh, uh, classic ridges. So, uh, well, well, I guess we're going to need to see if CTI is going to get uh, through and uh, what kind of options he's going to have. Uh, hello there, uh, Pebbleton. Good evening, sir, and welcome. I'm uh, doing fine. I'm actually preparing for the weekend. We're going to have this game tonight, which I, I do um, feel like uh, it might be a little bit more laid back. But by the first pick, I'm getting surprised over here with a uh, Cynthia being chosen. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna have the Hidden Cup. We're gonna have also on uh, Sunday a pretty amazing game. Uh, oh my god, yes, from the CPL Premier League. This uh, weekend does seem like it's gonna be quite uh, interesting. Uh, all around, we're gonna have quite a bit of uh, diversity. I was uh, trying to take a look also in the 2v2s if we can actually find something from there so we, uh, we get to watch, but yeah, the hours just didn't mix. The schedule just didn't mix. Um, I do see middle move. It's also gonna go for an aggressive pick over here with uh, the what it seems like a counter pick against Scythia picking up Zulu here we also have Kree now on the other side of course Kree being the money maker and then we do have Zulu the damage dealer we do have uh, to see if Boomer APM is gonna follow this example and pick a gold generator here or are they gonna go for something uh, differently uh, well if uh, they're gonna keep on going on this aggressive side uh, there are quite a few options over here in the game uh, that uh, can allow him to be as aggressive of, as he wants I would uh, um, I'd like to actually see a little bit more of uh, Movemba Zinga in the game over here not to mention Alexander, we got Amanitore we got so many options, Basil the second gang is Khan, I mean just looking at the screen right here you can imagine there are so many leaders that uh, can uh, perform well, it does uh, mean quite a bit for the players to play something that they are familiar with uh, and uh, they do know time after time in multiple situations they can actually uh, find a way to get the win, we do have Montezuma being picked up by Boomer APM and this is kind of a half half I gotta say most of the time with Montezuma you do want to start up with commercials sometimes if you do have uh, good campuses you're gonna go that way and of course uh, follow up with commercials afterwards um trying to build that uh, district discount up uh, i do want to say also for montezuma here if he does manage to get uh, the multiple continent splits uh, around him this is going to be amazing because uh, he's going to be uh, uh, with one extra damage point per luxury improved in his empire you can imagine if he has multiple continents to benefit uh, put his fingers in all of the pies over there of the luxuries he's going to get that extra damage on his side and he's going to manage to stomp his opponents later on in the game we've seen uh, unstoppable attacks actually from Montezuma especially when he gets to jet bombers those guys just smash everything we do have uh, to take a look also on what will uh, happen over here looks like uh, the last pick wasn't actually chosen oh it is uh, Spain I do see Hyperion did actually uh, write something over here in the chat he said it's gonna be Spain oh, interesting that they didn't actually find the leader over here because you actually have a search button for that hello you can actually click uh, Philippe Philippe 
Philippe. There we go. Philippe. Philippe. Is he here? You see Phil? Phil? Mr. Phil? Anyway, um, maybe um, they didn't have time to even uh, click that. Now we do have also King. Wait, is this uh, Unified or is this King Chi? Uh, wait, kick W. Is this King Chi? Uh, whoa, 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 uh, give me a second, give me a second, because I might uh, actually mistake his, uh, this is Kin, yeah, this is Kin, Mandate of Heaven, actually, okay, not the Univire, Mandate of Heaven, that's, uh, that's the one being banned over here, and, uh, of course, with, uh, Spirit being banned, uh, Philip the second being banned over here by middle move, uh, they won't, uh, get to benefit from those, uh, trade routes, it is what it is, the internal trade routes are quite amazing on Spain, and it does give him, uh, quite uh, an advantage, interesting that, uh, in this, uh, game, we don't actually see them going for, um, how to say, Theodora or Japan or uh, civilizations like that. We've seen a lot of the times the main picked or banned in uh, the very, very high um, competitive scene over there. It does seem like they're going a little bit of a different approach, especially I wouldn't uh, say Canada over here or. Um, no, actually Canada, just Canada. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to, ban to be banned on uh, uh, Pangea standard, but anyway, maybe they have seen uh, something like that, uh, uh, something like a Canada gameplay that couldn't be stopped or something. Uh, anyway, we do have a middle move going for Rome. Uh, there will be two more choices from Boomer APM, and uh, they're going to finish their draft uh, first over here. Also, Andireo, hello there, sir. Uh, the prediction from yesterday is still running. Oh, really? It is? Let me actually finish it. Give me a second. Thank you so much. Bon so much. Bienvenue. Uh, we did have uh, Black Peter winning the day, right? Black Peter winning the day because uh, yeah, 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 click double. There we go, there we go. Thank you for reminding me. And uh, welcome. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, pow, 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 pow. Uh, they're still thinking about it. They have uh, 24 seconds to go on uh, Boomer APM to uh, pick one civilization here. Actually, two civilizations, but uh, he's going to get another minute to think about the second choice. Um, with uh, middle move going for Rome, I do feel like uh, this opens up a lot of options on their side. On middle move, a lot of strategies over there, including the mid to late game, is going to be quite strong, uh, even if uh, Zulu does attack somebody. We do have uh, Theodora. Finally, uh, one of the um, uh, Byzantium leaders is getting picked over here by Boomer APM. Inter that they did go for Theodora and not uh, something like Basil the second that uh, I've seen actually being picked quite a bit well I guess the extra culture on uh, Theodora for the holy sites um, it's uh, quite uh, liked by the players uh, we do have uh, to see also what uh, kind of uh, choice they're going to follow up I am a bit worried about the gold generation uh, while uh, Scythia will probably get a lot of Kurgans and we're going to need to see how many pastures he's going to have around his land uh, give us an idea of uh, how many uh, extra points of production and the uh, faith and even gold he can generate from uh, those Kurgans. Uh, we do need to see also if um, Teddy Roughrider is going to try to start up with uh, campu uh, campuses or commercials, um, depending on uh, what kind of mountains and what kind of um, choices he's going to have throughout his uh, empire. Um, well, I guess uh, on the other side, middle move uh, does have a bit more flexibility when it comes to the gold generation. Both um, Cree and Rome can uh, actually perform very well when it comes to that gold generation. We do need to see if uh, they're going to have any kind of uh, possibilities to get the gold through the water of course even on Pangea standard you do have sometimes some uh, inland seas like to the north or to the south uh, sometimes uh, also Pangea does spawn quite weirdly with uh, like a snaky type of uh, landmass or something like that uh, so there are possibilities of uh, them actually having the option to uh, trade through the water now we're going to need to see also if uh, Kree is going to have one of those awesome spawns yesterday we've seen a Kree that did manage to get six pastures next to his camp that's City didn't actually manage to benefit from all of them, uh, but still, that was an insane spawn. Now, who are the players uh, for this game? So, on one side, we do have uh, Guernaroth with uh, Yogtrial, with uh, Shoka and Kailak uh, playing today for um, Boomer APM. They are a French team, and on the other side, they also have a, um, a French opponent over here <clears throat> because we are in the Civil Park squadrons. Uh, on the other side, the middle move is going to be represented today by uh, Fives, Hyperion with uh, Dr. Zeta and the Psychat. I believe we have seen before in the 2v2s Dr. Zeta and the Psychat, if I remember correctly. Even Hyperion, I think we have uh, seen him in one of the CPL games uh, from the CCCs, if my memory serves me right, uh, when uh, he did actually quite well in the FFA. I'm not uh, remembering exactly if it was uh, something like, uh, how to say, uh, Iron Man or with this 
that we see something else like a normal FFA or something like that. I, I don't I don't believe we have seen him in the previous CCC, but in like uh, the one before that or something like that. Anyway, we're going uh, we're jumping into the game over here, and also Andy Rowe was saying uh, half of my points were in this prediction. Of course, I have seen it. Oh, I see, I see. Uh huh. You have seen into the future. Yes. The okay, so uh, we're getting into the game over here. Let me actually click this uh, button uh, so we can uh, turn off the Discord notifications and stuff like that. And uh, let's actually see what the first map will entail over here. Let's put up also the prediction for how many remaps. We got 0, 1, 2 as possible answers and a submission period of 10 minutes. As usual, we do have one remap token for each team. And uh, we will see what the players uh, will um will choose of course on pangea standard ridges i gotta say uh, we don't see that many remaps a lot of the times but it still happens anyway we do have uh, the first of course uh, city states are being put down over here on the map and we can actually start bouncing around a little bit to get the vision over uh, some of the civilizations quick uh, pick over here hyperion and fives will have some amazing uh, coastal trade routes on the west side oh my god we were just talking about that and talking about uh Kree's available uh passion so we do have him with uh, one camp and two passions in the capital city is going to get at least uh, plus three bonuses not amazing i gotta say not amazing can work i mean yes it's better than nothing but not amazing uh we do have uh, to the east side over here quite a few mountains looks like america is going to get to benefit from them england is going to be to his northwest so america will have a, the prime position to attack his neighbor here oh no there's actually oh look at that uh, dr zeta has a bodyguard over here in the form of side chat with his um, amazing impies he's going to trying to withstand the amazing power of america from his south kylak here is kind of put behind the mountains to be honest in between well he's gonna have a lot of science over uh, zulu this uh, if it goes long game i do believe uh, america will have uh, good chances of uh, out beating zulu out uh, smarting him we do have also kylak with uh, quite a bit of culture next to his cities let's actually check his continent split one big continent it looks like he has access to a green one to the east side uh, but not a lot of resources i would i guess i would see three of them we got a gypsum here we got a diamond and we do have a mercury he's also gonna might actually i don't know if he will have but he might have ac uh, access to a whale tile over there next to cardiff even though i'm pretty sure that city state is gonna want to actually get that tile for himself <laughs> city states man city states uh we do have um uh, cynthia shoka shoka here with uh, his uh dear tiles i mean why not pa oh my god why not pastures and uh, i was just about to scream about this by the way why not pastures and look at that three horses in a row over here with two cattle tiles to the west side this is amazing we do have more uh, cattle tiles to the east and a good titty over here to the east side where he can actually place a freshwater city oh actually two of them with more cattle tiles sprinkled around these oh my god this is just so cool anyway with, let's actually take a look at uh, rome spawn also to the west side looks like he did uh, plant his city on a three one on a honey tile he's gonna get uh, that extra ability work the two three deer tile to the west side for the extra production and i do see him getting a scout out <clears throat> We do have him uh, with a decent amount of mountains to his east where i'm probably pretty sure he's going to try to get as many campuses as possible looking forward to see how he's going to also try to make use of his um, uh, government plaza uh kailak is saying you don't fall pseudo uh there wait uh, they're seeing they're seeing the same name or something what they're seeing the same name okay well i guess uh this is uh maybe oh they, maybe they switched in the lobby and uh, sometimes it does happen that uh the name gets oh yeah there we there there we go there are actually two kylax lol <laughs> <clears throat> It is what it is. Anyway, we're probably going to have a quick reload over here. Turn one. Uh, let's see when it's going to be put up. I think it's actually being put up right now. Right now. Uh, right now. Anyway. Uh, if you guys don't know um, or you're just tuning into the stream, uh, we do have a new BBG uh, version out. Uh, the beta 560 is out. You can actually check out uh, the patch notes, exclamation mark BBG beta in the stream chat. Uh, or um, you can take a look at my uh, YouTube channel over there. I did post it yesterday. Uh, I do have to point out that the moment we are not playing with the BBG beta in the official tournaments, the beta is not yet adopted. But if the changes from the beta do go through in the... Um, 
main version of uh, BBG. Uh, we will see them, of course, uh, in the next few weeks. From what I understand, it will take uh, like around two weeks of testing for the beta to actually um, uh, get out of there and uh, for the team uh, from BBG to make an idea and to uh, get themselves an idea if the changes are good or bad or if they do need to um, make optimize them a little bit. Uh, also, Hyperion is saying that it wasn't that uh, rough over there. It wasn't that grave, um, that bad that uh, they were seeing the same name. And well, it is what it is. Now, uh, ooh, they're asking for a... Uh, I don't think... I think that's a joke, actually, uh, asking for a um, referee. Uh, anyway, I'm pretty sure we do have uh, more than zero MS to any, everybody, except Kylak over here. I don't see him uh, in... Oh, there we go. He's in. Oh, wait a second. Kylak. Oh, I do see Kylak. Again, twice. I see Kylak twice. And well, I really hope when he's going to move, uh, we are not going to see an extra player over here on the spectator because that's going to be awkward. Uh, any oh my God, it is happening. Okay, he got kicked. He got kicked. Okay. The ghost of Kylak just got kicked. Pog. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We had uh, the shadow of Kylak following him throughout the game over here. It looks like um, we needed extra help to keep him off the game, you know, try to get Kylak uh, to focus on the game rather than anything else. I do want to talk a little bit about uh, their also uh, pro uh, priority of here. It looks like uh, they did put Kylak uh, on the first slot with Montezuma. Uh, Fives is going to get the second one with uh, Pawnmaker and then we do have Rome with Theodora. Uh, with uh, Montezuma being on the top slot, it does seem like uh, they're prioritizing going for those uh, merchant points and prioritizing going for um the generals now we do need uh, we do have the same thing happening from the other team pound maker being high so high up in the priority it does um give him the chance to be competitive when it comes to those uh, merchants um we're going to need to see of course how many points they're going to get maybe the as uh, one of them will try to go for something like a god of war and plunder so he generates more than uh others uh just from uh, his normal build uh here and um well and to be honest we do need to uh, wait for the map choice over here for the map uh, if um, they will want to switch this map or not did i actually oh my god i got a far axis crash guys my screen just Ooh, froze it froze in time and in space i don't know what he's what uh yeah anyway i guess it's gonna be quick and painless uh hopefully let's actually uh, open up the game Maybe I should have waited a little bit before I clicked on the screen. Kick W. Well. My only concern about this, I'm not a concern that uh, Firex is crashing so on. My only concern about this is um, not to have these things in the game. Because, yeah, I mean, sure, we can spend another minute to get back in the game and so on. Uh, but, oh man, spending uh, an extra, like, 30 seconds every turn is not that ideal. Like, 20 to, 20 to 30 seconds to actually load in. And that's kind of weird, right? Uh, let's actually join the lobby. I did open up the game. There we go. Clicking on buttons over here. Bam, bam. One other piece of information about um, um, the Hidden Cup tomorrow, it looks like uh, they are reverting back to their original, the classic uh, way of uh, getting the players in. I'm not sure exactly what kind of uh, invitees we're going to have uh, tomorrow, um, but I guess we're going to need to uh, see it uh, then. Uh, we do have 20 players that are going to go um, in uh, two FFAs, dif two different FFAs, and uh, the winners of that, I guess, uh, will go against... Um, Oh, wait a second. Oh, my God. I didn't check it. Oh, I miss. Anyway, uh, we'll go against um, each other and we're going to need to see the finals between the them. Now, now I, I would assume the, the first five players of each uh, FFA were actually going to the finals and uh, we don't need to see who are they. Um, I'm a bit surprised that they did actually choose to go for 10-man FFAs and not 8-man FFAs. Uh, while I do understand it's a smaller map, it does seem like it's much more stable and, of course, it's um, quite played. Uh, anyway. Actually, 8-man FFA is not that played. Sorry, sorry. 10-man FFA is the most played one. Uh, but, yeah. It's just much stable. Much, much better. Uh, let me put a plus here. I, I, thank you for waiting for me, by the way. Thank you. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, uh, so we do have uh, the players uh, starting to move around over here. It uh, looks like uh, Constantinople did uh, again settle in place. Uh, we do have uh, also a decent amount of fresh water next to uh, Rome. Uh, I do see he might actually need a little bit of help to expand to the east side over here because Cree uh, will probably gobble up uh, quite a bit of uh, the land to the north and um, I don't actually see Byzantium. Oh, actually, wait a second. This is Byzantium. This is not Rome. This is Byzantium. This. Oh my god, Byzantium is actually the opponent of Powermaker. Oh, it is what it is. I just saw actually the um, uh, icon over here. So uh, Byzantium over here is going to be an opponent of fives. And uh, we're going to probably see some uh, type of warfare being done uh, between the hills over here, between this rainforest. And we do need to see on the other side. Let me actually take a look at the Rome. Because this actually changes the whole idea I had about the dynamics of this game. Like uh, Rome will probably go against Scythia. And this is not ideal for Rome at all. Even if he does have a strong units like um, the legions is still not going to be ideal for him what do have him with uh, the dice stars as uh, two two ones and uh, this is going to get an advantage in getting his uh, pantheon here i wouldn't be surprised if he's going to want to go for something like initiation right to take it away from Scythia. Scythia would actually benefit a lot from uh, initiation rights it's a snail map yeah does look like a snail map yeah or maybe i don't know it's uh, something like a bike that burns smoke in you know from his tires or something um I do see also Montezuma over here is going to be to the west side of uh, Rome, so this might actually turn uh, into a two versus one. Uh, wait a second. Wait, well, yeah, Montez it will. It might actually turn into a two versus one. Wouldn't be that hard for Kailak to actually get the series on the east side. He is incentivized to go and settle the east anyway, and you can actually see he can settle a gypsum tile, for example, in between the mountains. Uh, relatively protected. He has uh, quite a few good campuses, good food for the bananas and so on. Uh, geothermals next to the mountains uh, for the extra science. So I would actually say Montezuma has an in a strong incentive to try to get this land uh, colonized. Here. Now we do have uh, also uh, Zulu over here that uh, does seem like uh, he's um, gonna need to make a choice either go south or north and I'm pretty sure at least once it is gonna go to the south the fertile over here is very 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 juicy a 2-3-1 next to other tiles with uh, multiple 2-2s two and hills possible hills he has some sugar tiles there but he's gonna put that city right in the face of America Guernaroth this is not gonna be that fun for uh, Guernaroth we do have him with a possibility to go to the south and uh, yes he can actually plant uh, his set cities uh, uh, immediately over here on the north on the olive tile that would mean those cities are going to touch borders we do have uh, on the east side over here also aztec uh, next to uh, shaka aztec is an opponent of uh, shaka he is uh, going to be an ally of um, terry so this might turn into a two versus one over here as well it all depends on kai like how he's going to try to use his force and if ctia is going to feel like uh, he can actually take on rome without uh, that much of a problem we do have uh, also london over here dr zeta that can actually settle to the south he has a triple continent spread for the extra trade routes this is going to be amazing for victoria he's going to get an extra two trade routes for centering his cities on other continents and as you can see he has one in the south one on the west side over there the, re the red one I do have a settler also coming up in six turns here for the city of London, a fish tile, a reef fish next to that city center, which will give him extra adjacency towards the campus. You can see a plus three easy over here next to the mountains with uh, multiple cities that will get to settle on this uh, north and southern coast. I'm pretty sure the next city will be in the south. This is going to be extremely important for England to benefit from such an early stage of the game from an extra trade route. So I would imagine over here there's going to be quite a bit of uh, chatter between... Um, uh, between middle move they should actually keep this map whatever happens they should keep this map they they do have i guess fives which is uh, in a dangerous position he doesn't know it yet but he does have uh, byzantium to the northwest which is not really you know the ideal matchup over here but i do feel like uh, kree is uh, or should actually um uh, keep byzantium at bay and we do need to see uh, how Kree is going to try to approach this he has some uh, support help over here from uh, the gods of Siv. we do have uh, some forest fires in the south that will increase uh, the yields of those tiles and you can easily see a honey tile over there that could be um uh, settled on and he's going to get some uh, extra food from the refish and so on and so forth there are quite a few settles here coastally that uh, can be uh, taken advantage of by um, monsieur Cree, monsieur Cree. Uh, also Abu Siakaga, hello there sir and welcome uh, we do have uh, also fountain of youth here to the east side of uh, five there's a decent amount of land to his east and southeast uh, he can actually uh, at some point in the game put a city in the water here uh, next to England so they can actually trade coastally this is going to be amazing these are 
two merchant uh, civilizations both of them do want as many of those uh, traders as possible so you can imagine having them connect their economy will actually mean uh, so much more uh, gold than uh, their opponents uh, we do have on the other side actually Gwernaroth over here with uh, an option to trade with Kylak, but it's not gonna be a uh, water uh, well, I'm pretty sure that there can be some setups here between Scythia and uh, Aztec I guess uh, through the water I'm pretty sure he can actually get uh, some city at, at least a city over here to the south maybe mercury tile i would actually hold my breath for that mercury settle but anyway maybe he can actually do something over here to get a city in one of the locations so he can uh, negotiate uh, pathways uh, directly to the aztec capital now we do have also Theodora that's going to be very far away from anybody to uh, trade with but at least he's going to have on the other side of the ocean on the west side as you can see the map flips around uh, we do have uh, Rome over here on his uh, west side and well I guess uh, he's not going to trade the uh, coastally here at all now uh, we do need to see if Yogtrial um, uh, will try to make his um, how to say uh, fortune from uh, trading with Auckland or uh, Namadol I'm pretty sure he's not going to want to dip his toes in the water there now uh, we do have on the other side actually uh, nobody alone uh, we do have them actually sprinkled in uh, quite close to each other uh, or wait a second it's Kree alone so I'm sorry 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 I guess we do have the both of them alone but later on it's not gonna be alone no only one alone it's only Byzantium alone it's only Byzantium thinking about this clearly it's only Byzantium alone because uh, Kree is still gonna have options to trade on the east side it's just gonna be a little bit further logistics now there's no option for Byzantium to trade here there's like literally no option the only option would be uh, Scythia taking down uh, Rome and then putting a city on the coast so they can trade later on <clears throat> let's actually uh, take a look we're 10 10 over here we do have uh, the players starting up on his, on their holy sites on uh, getting the settlers to their uh, locations we do have um, Miki Sivacic over here already getting his uh, 3 3 upgraded here in the south he's uh, gonna 5 turn a settler and it looks like there was a war declaration oh I see why I see why oh my god remember when I was doing that yesterday escort your settlers I feel like this is, you know, this is exactly what needs to happen over here. Give me a second. I need to put that as a clip, man. I need to put that as a clip. Uh, like a command or something. So uh, you, we can clip it easily. Ah, uh, this. This. Uh, this. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. Yes. You know, you remember this? Remember this? Oh, my God. Escort your settlers. <laughs> this <laughs> hello there Gimaru. hello there send the welcome uh, let's actually see what's gonna happen here in the um, uh, three map vote we do have them uh, going about it looks like uh, Psychat actually uh, turned around and moved to the northwest with his uh, settler he doesn't have fresh water to the west side but I guess uh, using his Ikandas he's not gonna care that much uh, he lost the spot to the south though uh, he moved his um, warrior a bit too much in the south and that actually exposed him um, exposed the pathways of attack to, from the west and from the east he does have a builder here in Nulundi that will probably want he will want to upgrade some of his styles he does have a sheep tile there to the northeast that uh, would love some would um, need some help uh, we do see uh, them the players actually getting their votes in and both teams remap why i mean this is i i can't wait to actually see the post to hear the post game chat why would you remap this i have no idea anyway it is what it, i mean i i totally get it on this side like on theodora i totally get it man but you still had like three very good civilizations here that uh, couldn't pump out i guess they're worried that uh, they're not gonna get the gold with um Aztec needing to actually fight Zulu uh, they also had um, America over here in the south that couldn't actually get uh, that big of an economy because Zulu so I guess uh, all in all uh, they had quite a few problems so it would have been up to Yogdrial to actually get an empire here uh, to create quite a bit of uh, gold for them uh Yogdrial can't free semen convert as he want oh I see that's the problem it's Yogdrial needs to be big brain and big muscles over here during the game okay I see I mean it is what it is you know and to each his own <laughs> oh, I think I need to sit a little bit to the right over here because I'm getting out of the camera kick there we go 
Okay. So let's see. Oh. Oh. What is this map? Kick. Well, I guess another uh, Pangea. That's kind of weird. Okay. This is definitely a weird Pangea. Okay. Uh, anyway, this is uh, gonna be it. Uh, we do not have any more uh, remap tokens available for them. Uh, both teams uh, did choose to remap, so uh, we do have one remap, and it is what it is. Both teams, it is what it is. What will happen during this um, uh, map is uh, whatever happens. This map is gonna be played out unless technical. Uh, let's actually take a look here. Side chat uh, will have mountains uh, this time around. It looks like uh, to the east side he's gonna have quite a few good campuses. I do see some in the south, and uh, the, the unfortunate thing is he's gonna be uh, relatively far away from uh, somebody he can actually affect with his military power. We do have uh, fives over here in the north that um, will be his ally, and uh, by the looks of it, to the northeast that's gonna be his first opponent over here. But it's gonna be quite far away. Uh, we might actually see uh, Zulu needing to actually um, sim up for the late game and get prepared over there for that uh, fascism or something um the fires is asking if they can play uh well no uh, anyway we do have america here to the northeast uh, with quite a few mountains it looks like uh, siberia is going to be the continent city is going to be to the southeast that's going to be an ally so yeah they can actually trade out uh, over here through the mountains um oh aztec to the northeast of uh, america that's uh, gonna open up uh, international trade routes uh, through the water between them and it's gonna be quite easy to set up america just needs to send the city to the northeast and bam those uh, trade routes will go there i think we were waiting for somebody to load here uh, maybe it was good. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, let's actually take a look at the civilizations in uh, a little bit more detail. We do have uh, Kree over here with, uh, by the looks of it, uh, quite a few pashas actually. He and uh, camps. He has a one, two, three, four uh, that I can see. Yeah, four, four. That's uh, pretty good actually. And we do have him also with a few uh, plantations in the form of cotton tiles. And as you can see, he did prefer to go for the two-two base from BCY than actually going for uh, cotton um, with uh, for that extra gold. The round table. Uh, Flippy, thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. The end map. Yeah, we do have the end map. To be honest, the first reaction I had is this a dark map or something, but I guess the uh, end map works as well. Uh, we do have uh, Mikisi Wachik, we are pumping out uh, Nokchito in four tens. He does have uh, the Nabi, the Sand Sea over here to the northwest, uh, giving him a few, a, a bit of adjacency towards his uh, holy sites if he wants to, but I'm pretty sure Creed doesn't want holy sites. Does it give anything else? I, I'm not f that familiar with this wonder. What does it give? Does it have any adjacency bonuses to or something else? Yeah, also, I just uh, put 153 points like that. I got the double. Good man. Yeah, bonsoir, monsieur Rafifi. Uh, let's actually see. Namid uh, C, right? Uh, Namid. Namid Sand C provides and uh, recon units that under the Namib C uh, receive the ability Desert Nomads plus one movement. Wait. This is plus one movement, not in the desert or is it in the desert because i'm pretty sure it's not in the desert oh my god this is gonna be amazing can you imagine four movement speed oxytaus we didn't for a treat over here oh my god a big is in a tough spot uh yeah it's gonna get bullied this, this looks like uh it's gonna be one of those uh piper perry movies oh my god man uh, let's say oh yeah yeah look at that so we do have um byzantium over here to the northeast we do have uh, rome to the east side now that's gonna be an ally that's uh, that's good that's good and then we do have uh, montezuma northwest and then scythia southwest oh my oh my i don't know man uh, also flippy uh, why do we have a game uh, live on youtube and uh, twitch are the different uh, leagues uh, there are um, two different games i have uh, usually the games uh, i do stream them live on twitch and after a certain period i do put them up on youtube i can actually cannot actually uh, stream at the same time on youtube and on twitch because twitch uh, partner actually it's not the partner contact it's uh, right now it's uh, terms of service actually they enter the terms of, the terms of service but anyway i do download them i do cut the beginning of the stream over there and then i upload them with a few details uh, added like the teams the civilizations and so on in the description and also i do try uh, to use my youtube uh, to get some more uh, informative uh, videos about something other than this i'm still thinking trying to figure out ideas of uh, what to actually do yeah, but basically that's the reason it does take me like two or three weeks there's a, like a two three week uh, difference uh, between uh, what's on live stream on twitch and what goes uh, in the premiere in uh, youtube 
Yeah, we do have uh, to take a look also uh, back onto the civilization. Speaking of watching, we were talking about that four movement scout over here. This is going to be amazing uh, next to the Nami at sea. Uh, we do have him also with a pretty good setup for uh, Magnus internals. And I do see a lot of freshwater uh, rivers over here, west, south, east, north. No problem for him to actually get a big empire. Uh, with uh, America being to his southeast, he's going to need to prepare some form of a defense. America, this is the um, uh, America that still has its uh, extra damage against uh, civilizations. Uh, um, uh, from his uh, remap, why remap? Why remap? No, what? What? I think, uh, yeah, I think they need to reload, not the remap. <laughs> they want to get out of this. <laughs> they want to get out of this. They're like, no, get me out. Get me out. Where is, where is Hyperion? Hyperion over here is Rome. Rome is over here. Oh, wait. You know, I guess he wants to get out of this. Okay. Uh, he does have Byzantium to the north and they're going to be probably in a cage fight over here. Rome and Byzantium. Uh, we'll do a re-lobby if it uh, rebugs. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Rafifi. Uh, we do have uh, to take a look at Zulu here in the south. Uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Cree is uh, strategic. So we do have uh, horses to the northwest. And it looks like uh, it's going to be second ring. Easy to acquire. We do have uh, iron to the southwest. And it looks like um, he's also going to have that uh, relatively easy to acquire. I really hope nobody actually has BBG beta on. I'm pretty sure somebody has BBG beta on. Just saying. Uh, we do have uh, to take a look in the south here on uh, Zulu. Uh, Zulu does have uh, horses to the east side he has a scout coming up in one turn i do see he's getting extra food from the banana tiles over here and he has some uh, ships to use at the beginning i'd also notice he's gonna have a pretty good setter here on the stone tile uh, to the south where his warrior is uh, gonna discover one of the tiki huts and a uh, pretty good mountain adjacency for those campuses to the uh, east side and southeast now there's gonna be a decent amount of distance between him and his opponent i do have to say zulu is not that strong at the beginning of the game it kind of starts to shine uh, when it gets its core ability and then from then on it gets stronger uh, so uh, usually at the beginning of the game you don't want to stay away from uh, major wars with uh, Zulu now, at least for the like first uh, 30 40 50 turns something like that uh, when you get your MP cores now that's a different question now with uh, so this is kind of a perfect uh, matchup for him when it comes to applying his military power he might want to uh, get some faster units uh, to attack his opponent maybe some coarser course uh, or uh, some later on camp course now maybe he can actually get to um, uh, get enough uh, culture on his empire to actually discover mobilization or i should say the um, not mobilization what, what is it he's gonna get uh, earlier right uh, nationalism so he's gonna get the army ability it uh, looks like uh, it's gonna be a relobby next time so we can actually fix this uh, issue and uh, we do have ulundi with uh, possible uh, iron tiles uh, to improve here to the northeast he's gonna have uh, these two over here i'm pretty sure he's gonna put another city directly east of ulundi on one of these two two tiles uh, pretty good uh, adjacency here for campuses and uh, fresh water from the rivers a lot of uh, hills uh, we do also need to see how uh, he's gonna try to use uh, his ikandas for the extra JCC towards other districts i'm pretty sure it's gonna be some form of a setup here but it's uh well it's all up to him how he's gonna try to do it uh, next up we do have uh, washington with his uh, two three deer tile he's gonna have extra food from a rice tile and i do see underneath his capital city he does have a t tile there for a 311 base uh, he also has pretty good second settles over here in uh, on the east side where he's definitely gonna want to get at least one city so he can trade cap to cap to aztec this is gonna be amazing for their economy over here between um guernaroth and kailak uh fives is uh wait uh actually whatever we're gonna reload next time uh we do have washington with uh horse tile in the second ring to the, the northwest and i do see his iron tile is gonna be a third ring out to the west side he didn't yet discover kree and the kree over here did not actually discover the nabit seal did he does he know he does not know he does not know great the great namid sea and i'm pretty sure the Oxitao, the first one is not gonna go north uh, or at least uh, usually the players are not going immediately north especially since a lot of the teams are already putting uh, pins at the beginning of the game so they have an idea where they are on the map if you do put the pins the map will actually um, reveal you itself in the form of uh, where you are like uh, it, you know you get like a zoomed in image with uh, the beginning of the game and then it gets bigger when you discover more territory and so on well basically the map pins 
gets it to the max resolution immediately so it shows you where you are you can see you're in the western quarter to the north you're in the southeastern quarter you're on the middle you're north in the middle and so on and so forth you can actually see and that also uh, holds true for your um, allies so for example we do see we do have uh, on the right side boomer apm very close to each other uh, with, uh, with the west side over here we do have them split up uh, by twos zulu with the uh, creon one side and then we do have um england and uh, rome on the other now this is their vision they do not know uh, they actually have uh, civilizations um, well they can uh, how to say extrapolate they're gonna have uh, civilizations between them but where are they are they on the west side are they on the east side where are their opponents and of course we're going to see uh, when they are gonna discover that um, information um shouldn't we have had a relobby or are we just gonna go through this again uh also i did know minimap wants to show all pins in short yeah yeah exactly they want to the minimap the minimap wants to display them yeah uh as to delay cost production stack okay okay oh wait it actually settled down we don't have any kick okay uh, we didn't have a thing thing Anyway, uh, it looks like America did manage to pop a builder from one of the huts uh, he uh, walked into. And I do see he did manage to also get his two scouts. I'm pretty sure he's going to put a settler here in production next. And we do need to see uh, how fast he's uh, going to want to explore this territory. Ideally, you do want to be a bit more aggressive against Kree here. Especially if you can guarantee the safety of uh, the settlers uh, towards the front line. Uh, we do need to take a look at Scythia to the southeast. Prokovka, uh, Shoka, played uh, today by Shoka. Uh, we do have uh, him with a relative uh, good distance uh, to attack into england towards the northeast he does have in the capital a lot of stone tiles which to be honest i do believe over here uh, stone circles might be a good thing if he doesn't manage to get to something like initiation rights he has two four five just in the capital uh, with uh, another two uh, on the east side and uh, i do see another one over here oh another uh, two to the south two to the east another one to the south and uh, there are quite a few of them that can be improved and also i do see a lot of mercury that he could get some uh, religious idols but anyway now, a lot of the times actually Scythia does benefit uh, quite a bit from its uh, phase generation if it does manage to uh, get a decent amount of it and I do see powerful Kurgans uh, can actually be set uh, with the use of these uh, pastures he can generate the faith and buy units with uh, that faith if you um, don't need to dedicate holy sites like a district or slot for it it is amazing I've seen actually people try out um, a holy Scythia here but mm, it just didn't go as well we do have Pokrovka also benefiting from a horse style to the east side uh, in the second ring or uh, iron is going to be second ring to the south and uh, from what i do see he's going to have also a decent amount of territory to settle in the back not to mention uh, towards the front line over here towards uh, england i don't think uh, did they meet each other or did they actually just crisscross each other because dr z over here is probably going to need to come back into the uh, forest hill on the die style and i'm pretty sure shoka is going to try to get over that uh, river now we do have also Aztec in the north so starting to move down with his eagle warrior and they're starting to uh, break the fog of war between them as you can see over here their vision has been united now uh, we do need to see uh, Dr. Zeta um, make a move here if he does actually move here he's going to be discovered by Scythia uh, I don't think they actually know yet about the loyalty it's uh, too close but it might actually show up here if they did manage to declare war against each other that's something that I'm not uh, sure of no they did not declare war on each other they, we don't have the uh, icons over here for the war between them uh, also Cree spotted America with the river England knows uh, Scythia is around and Aztec knows where to find England that is an ideal situation uh, if uh, yeah if they do pay attention to the rivers over here to be honest um, I'm not sure how many players actually know this, so um, I, I'm not taking it uh, too hard. Uh, we do have a war declaration being sent, and uh, right now they definitely saw the loyalty. And as you can see, England actually moves off his warrior from the die style, uh, so he's going to be spotted by the Scythian scout. We do have a settler coming up from Pokrovka soon, and I'm pretty curious, uh, but I would bet uh, quite a bit on him settling to the, the northeast towards England. Of course, uh, Scythia here does benefit from very strong units at the beginning, the Saka Horse Arches. He has an extra plus five that he can add on his units whenever he's gonna uh, attack uh, wounded units uh, um, 
missing a bit of uh, their health and uh, we do need to see what kind of units he's gonna choose to go uh, on a off, uh, on an offensive here against England I do have to point out also England here uh, will have a bit of a problem most of the time he does want to go for Silister navigation which does take away quite a bit of time from him to prepare for something with an encampment to get a general to try to get units out to defend himself against a possible attack this is probably worst case scenario for England uh, to have a very aggressive Scythia next to him that will apply his power um, from an early stage of the game. Of course, uh, if that wasn't enough, we do have also Aztec to the northwest of um, uh, Dr. Zeta. And looks like Aztec is starting to improve his uh, coastal tiles. He did manage to get God of the Sea. It looks like he made a sacrifice over here to work the dice tile from the beginning and uh, got the faith rolling. Uh, he did manage to uh, get the extra production going on his uh, improved resources in the water with two, uh, with one turtle tile and one fish. He's getting extremely good tiles to use. More production from, uh, more, uh, sorry, um, the science uh, points from also the turtle tiles at the beginning of the game do make you... Uh, and, you know, just a little bit better. I want to say amazing. I want to say they're going to actually, you know, give you the game over that. But it's going to be better. We do have uh, Yosemite also as a settle option for him. He's going to settle the horses there. And uh, we're probably going to get that 2-2 base. Very good tiles to use here, including in late, in late game. He's going to get this aluminum proof for that extra production. Now, I do uh, want to mention also Kyla here does uh, have... Uh, does have the option uh, to go against England himself to the southeast, and we're going to see how he's going to try to uh, flex his military power here against his opponent. Uh, this Aztec start is illegal. Yes, yes, yes. This is uh, this is one of the reasons I actually started read my spawn channel on my Discord. This this is the reason, man. This is the reason. Let me actually uh, put it over there really quickly. Uh, Rate my spawn, rate my spawn. There we go. You gotta rate this, guys. Look on my Discord. You gotta rate this. Thumbs up, thumbs down. One, two, three, whatever you wanna do. Give it some uh, love over there. Yeah, it looks like uh, Kainak um, still is uh, two turns away from settling that horse style. He does have fresh water from uh, this uh, inner lake that he can use. And uh, we do see him in the tech side going for astrology. Um, I'm actually, if he's going astrology, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to go harbors here. He can actually put two harbors from his initial cities. I wouldn't actually think um, Aztec would go harbors, but yeah, it's just much better off to go for commercials and uh, get those merchant points uh, for especially Aztec. Sure, you're not going to get very good adjacency. That's that's fine. We've seen the players actually prefer even uh, that uh, plus one gold adjacency for the commercials if they can get the extra trade routes. Um, we do have uh, Kainak also appearing uh, relatively close to the English settle. Uh, London is going to pump out another settle in uh, three turns while uh, his initial city, his second city is going to go to the east side. He does have also some turtle ties to use in the capital. Um, and I do see him... Um, uh, getting quite a few scouts here. He has uh, three of them with a warrior uh, trying to make um, a bit of a vision around his cities. He's trying to explore as much as possible to get an idea of uh, where his opponent is going to come from and uh, where does he need to actually put his army and his cities. Now uh, we do um, have him with a bit of a problem. This uh, eagle warrior is going to be very hard to deal with if he doesn't have an archer or something and it doesn't look like uh, he is uh, getting an escort for that uh, next settler. Now I'm very curious where is he going to want to settle it? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to keep on going on the coast here. So I would assume he's going to want to go uh, on the sheep tile or next to the sheep tile uh, for that uh, third city. So uh, this eagle warrior is actually standing in a perfect place to snatch that. I think actually a little bit, yeah, there we go. A little bit better would be to go into the woods uh, so the settler doesn't see him, right? I prefer, I prefer the harbor when you're on the coast, okay, you don't have the great merchants, but your cities will struggle to grow without the harbor. Yeah, if you don't have fresh water, but, uh, oh, he doesn't have fresh water in the capital, yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, but anyway, he's going to get a lot of resources. He already has uh, at least one extra housing just by improving the coastal resources here. Um, you get 0 0.5 per resources um, improved. So he has four, he's going to get two extra housing, uh, some uh, cattle tiles, some plantations, all of those do add housing 
rising to your uh, city. Um, let's actually take a look uh, on London's available resources. We do have an iron tile to the north um, in the second ring. Same can be said about the horse tile there. It looks like uh, this city will be settled next to the river for the fresh water and of course the access to resources, especially the dice tiles. He has two of them. He doesn't need to run the faith. Uh, oh my god okay he doesn't actually need to run the faith card or the god king card the plus one production plus one uh, uh sorry the plus one food and plus um, plus one faith and plus one gold scratch that plus one uh, faith and plus one gold um he could have worked that production card which is so important at the beginning of the game so it does add um give you a few uh, less tests to build stuff in uh, different cities which uh, especially at the beginning of, of the game can actually give you a serious advantage and uh, we do need to see also if uh, kylak is uh, actually gonna get the surprise on london looks like no he did uh, choose to move a little bit closer and giving his uh, position away of course to the London city which does mean Dr. Zeta over here is gonna come screaming to his allies give me gold uh, my allies please I need your economic support to defeat my opponent and of course there we go he popped he popped a warrior he popped the warrior anyway uh, actually no he picked up a pantheon here he didn't spend any gold i was thinking i look over here is this a bug i was thinking like maybe the gold disappeared but it didn't disappear do we need to upgrade and do we need to uh, wait for it but no he actually picked initiation rights got a free warrior and of course uh, got the ability to pump the faith out of, of uh, building units which makes me think uh, what is he gonna go for a uh, golden age i really hope it's not gonna be a monumentality because now nah, he's not gonna be happy with that one uh, we do have uh, to take a look also on uh, uh, Byzantium. Byzantium here with his uh, initial holy sites is going to get a decent uh, faith. Now one culture and one faith for this one. This is going to be a plus three and a plus one culture. We do have him also getting his settlers out and uh, he still needs uh, to get time going to acquire those uh, great profit points it will take quite a few turns uh, i do see him with a limited amount of land uh, or i should say good quality land for him now to the east side he's gonna have at least uh, one two three more cities and that's about it maybe he's gonna take buenos aires but again no fresh water it's kind of bad and uh, we do have him also with a maybe a possible settle towards the northwest and that's the extent of it um so that will pose quite a bit of a challenge here with only seven cities uh, to go uh, actually not even seven cities how, how much uh, wait two three four five six six cities six cities and maybe a non-fresh water city to the south uh, this is not really ideal for uh, byzantium to get uh, his empire sprawling uh, he does have a target in the south in the form of hyperion and uh, you do see rome already has his uh, third settler out moving to the west side to create those uh, trade routes with uh, england dr zeta over here is going to get a lot of economy and uh, the same can be said about hyperion uh, trading coastally with his ally we do have a builder coming up from Rome. I do see a scout over here to the southeast of Antium. And there is a culture point over here underneath Antium. That is a jade tile. Uh, we do have... Uh to see also his strategics he has uh, horses to the south of rome a uh, few uh, good campuses actually a plus three a plus three a plus four plus uh, four another plus four and a plus uh, three that, so again pretty good campus there's even a plus five next to the geothermal in the south uh, not that many cities though uh, but uh, he might actually have more than uh, byzantium overall let's actually take a look here one two three two over here uh, four over here five six uh, seven cram there okay nine okay he has a little bit more nine ten i think uh, he can even uh, get one over here in the south of those mountains so ten cities between the mountains with even uh, an extra position over here for england to get um, another city to the east of manchester i'm pretty sure england needs as much um, land as possible to his east side so he can actually uh, get more support cities to help him defend um, against his two opponents uh, to the west of london i do see aztec eagle warrior was actually forced to retreat uh, we didn't have a warrior another warrior uh, by over here in the uh, zeta cities and uh, his settler is going towards the north a little bit unfortunate that he couldn't get the position on the ship tile to the south and then i am i am uh, seeing this archer getting out of uh, the city of london and manchester soon so he can actually secure his borders a little bit better also alex 2005 good evening sir uh, crodello good evening sir and uh, aztec is gonna wreck the game <laughs> yeah i uh, just got here after an exam how are things going hey welcome back hope you had a, quite a good exam what what was it for what is it for uh, it's 2005 what did you get the exam for 
I gotta say, I gotta get this out of my chest uh, before I forget about it, man. Uh, today, I watched the upcoming technology that is coming out from Adobe. And I gotta say, oh my God, guys, all of you, all of the viewers, you're in for a ride. Me as well. We're in for a ride, boys. When the new updates, the new projects that Adobe do roll out, even in a beta stage or towards the consumers, or I should say towards the, uh, their uh, subscribers, oh my God, that's going to be basically a nuclear bomb in the, um, uh, the equivalent of a nuclear bomb in the creatives in all around the world it is incredible what you can do from removing uh, reflections in a picture or movie from uh, adding stuff for uh, to uh, uh, how to say to um, a person that is still moving movie wise he doesn't have a tie you insert tie he doesn't have a band at all you insert band all. he doesn't have a hat you insert hat this is incredible and it changes everything like the whole scene is getting morphed by that by that little change and the ais are uh, doing every calculation in behind oh my god that is just um, unbelievable i was watching that in the last two hours and i was like my mouth couldn't i couldn't keep myself from drooling at the uh, powers the unlimited power that the creators will get to generate content for their viewers amazing amazing that is just amazing anyway uh calculus uh, and despite uh, writing the entire test i had to fully rush uh, three questions 45 minutes to write three pages uh should be a war crime yeah i i do tend to agree man uh especially if you write hey, any small over there oh my god have you seen those persons that actually write very very tiny over there that you need a, you need a magnifying glass to actually check out their text oh my god man how, how can you do those little bobs oh whatever it is what it is anyway yeah, coming back to the game here, we we're talking about Rome. Uh, he's getting his campuses going, so we do know how he's going to open this up. Looks like his uh, third city is actually going to go towards uh, Manchester. Uh, so scratch that, he's going to have more cities. He's going to have at least eight or nine. Uh, we do have him also uh, getting uh, his uh, builders out. I do see two of them. He can get his uh, horse in the south improved over there. It's, uh, his campus is going to be a plus four. He has um, chosen to go for Pingala first over here, getting more science on himself, which is going to be quite nice because he might actually get an advantage uh, over Byzantium when it comes to the timing attacks and we do need to see if uh, this is actually going to give him those extra five turns that he would need to smash through an army and uh, we do have um, more skirmishes coming around here looks like um, Kree did uh, put a few arches on the east of his empire did also choose to go for city patron goddess which is something that actually Kree does choose quite a bit he does want to get as much um, how to say as much bonus as possible to getting those uh, commercials down and uh, benefiting from the extra trade routes uh, we do have also Guernaroth getting up for war to the east of uh, Cree over here we do have a few uh, archers uh, getting out of Washington moving towards the west side uh, pushing out the Oxitos from his territory he's getting uh, new ones from Boston and he did choose to go for God of the Forge well he is gonna get more production towards these military units and we do need to see how uh, things will develop between them I between between them, I would actually say America is in a little bit better position than Kree, like bonus-wise, but still, I would say Kree has enough punch and power uh, to keep his opponent at bay. I wouldn't uh, be surprised if we do see bronze working coming up from both of them. I do see fives actually is going to go very quickly for horse by riding, going to bypass the bronze working uh, technology uh, so he can actually get uh, his horses out uh, extremely quickly. We might actually see a fast attack coming up uh, executed over here by uh, fives. Uh, uh, against Guernaroth. Uh, to the southwest, we do have uh, Zulu also getting his uh, three settlers. I do see he's um, putting new settlers in production from Ulundi and Bulawayo. Uh, we do have Magnus establishing the city of Bulawayo, establishing. Uh, so that means uh, the beginning of the game, at least, is going to want to run these internal trade routes. Uh, it has a uh, few resources improved in the capital for the extra production. And I do see another trader coming up from Endodakusuka on the east, uh, able to connect those cities. Uh, we did talk that it's going to take quite a bit of time for Zulu to actually get up for war so it is going to be on uh, Kree to withstand the initial power of uh, America here next to him now we do need to see also if uh, we do have new um, pantheons it looks like God of Open Sky is going to be a choice here for Scythia and he's starting to put down his Kurgans and look at this beautiful tiles man oh my god this is just going to be some insane land over here he does need irrigation so he can put the best Kurgan of them all over here between the three pastures uh, we do have him with a problem actually these 
Chris Kurgans are taking out space for his perfect placement for the Gavron Plaza. And he's gonna need to uh, try to figure out other ways of uh, doing this. And we do have also clips of Dover to the east side that he's probably not gonna want to settle, especially because England to the north. Uh oh. Uh oh, we do have Kylak managing to win something here. He got a builder uh, from his opponent. I'm not sure if he managed to stomp an opponent's units, uh, like maybe a scout here. I, because I do see three uh, scouts and I believe he had three scouts. But anyway, maybe a warrior, maybe something else. He did manage to do it. And a free builder is a free builder. So he's going to try to get back to his territory here. The eagle warrior basically paid for himself. Remember, uh, one of these builders is like a hundred uh, gold, uh, more than a hundred gold. And it gets uh, more expensive right the more you build the more expensive it gets I like that Pingala by Aztec if uh, and only he goes for a course or a night push because if he lets uh, his guard down to the medieval era after Byzantium free seems with the Monumentality and can use his faith to buy units with a pen passion voice uh, second era he's going to get wrecked and I think you are actually talking about Rome right you're talking about Rome getting Pingala and yes I also like this uh, option of him uh, he would uh, just get a non-perfect uh, plaza between the second and the if I was Scythia save the Kurgans exactly right save the Kurgans I think that's exactly what he's doing here and looking at the tech side Shoka is going for mining in one turn military tradition coming up in two turns for his uh, maneuver card which is going to give him the 50% of oh sorry the um, uh, 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 yeah the 50% of I did say it properly um, uh, towards um, ancient and classical heavy and light cav uh, units this is very important to actually output uh, units very quickly against your opponent uh, we do have uh, also an uh, army of archers getting out of the cities and oh my god we gotta we got a bailer here we got uh, yogdriel getting out oh my god did my game also crash i'm gonna wait for the program to respond one time but hopefully mm. did everybody crash or did uh, just me anyway check uh, he usually crashes once or twice early on. Oh, I see. I see. So this is normal. But it made me crash too. Kick. It is what it is. I gotta admit, guys. I'm gonna make a confession. A very big confession. Yesterday, I went to the store. And I couldn't abstain myself. I saw a shower my place. And even though I know I want to lose weight and so on. And I'm on a diet. I bought a shower my and I ate it and it was very good and I went to sleep very nice oh my god it was awesome it was awesome anyway that's my confession right here I, uh, probably you know I can I can I can dip in a little bit of uh, shower mine sauce uh, every few days or week maybe a week maybe the same eh that's fine, just don't do it every day. Look, Kang, hello there, sir. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? I just ate a huge brownie, also not healthy, but it was delicious. Exactly, right? They're good. I mean, you know, you gotta you, you gotta trust the senses over there. Uh, truly a huge sin. How will I ever see you the same? I know. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I, I feel bad, dirty, you know? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I ate that shawarma and I liked it. <laughs> let me see why don't uh, we get in what what is happening here retrieving host information did he actually de lobby or something is that what happened <laughs> yeah i think we relobbied yeah 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 we relobbied okay we relobbied because probably like more than one dropped after he dropped so yeah it's just much better to relobby it's fine it's fine To be honest, I don't know if I can actually uh, give you this. Can I give you this? I think I can uh, show you this, right? I don't know if I can show you or not. Uh, like what Adobe is going to put out. But oh my god, man. Oh my god. I was talking to White and Nerdy about this. And oh my god, we're both uh, very excited about this. This is going to shave off so many hours of uh, work. If you do want to get co like complicated uh, projects and so on and so forth. And you do need to uh, fix some mistakes. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
Uh, we get the uh, MS going. Kai like uh, does need to join, so uh, yeah. So we're gonna have uh, quite a few actually matchups over here. We're gonna definitely see a war between America and Cree. We're gonna a hundred percent gonna see a war between Rome and Byzantium. The two, uh, I guess, uh, Roman leaders over here will get uh, in a problem in a cage fight. Uh, we do have uh, Victoria that's also probably gonna get attacked by uh, Scythia. We already saw uh, Sakahos such as coming out from Tomeris' city, so I would imagine that is uh, what coming up next now we do need to see if uh, Aztec is going to want to uh, also join the fight in a two versus one against the uh, Victoria Age of Empire I do have to say there is a limited window of opportunity to get uh, to Victoria Series and uh, try to um, outmatch him in technology he's uh, not going to be that far off from getting his own horseback riding or uh, I know working I would say horseback riding would be much easier because he already had the uh, archery and so on so you know one more tech and you get uh, the opportunity really easily it looks like we do need to wait for uh Kailak to rejoin and uh, let me actually finally check the zero msers i hope it's fine also brody barhead hello there sir good evening good evening hello hello i uh, did notice somebody was uh putting uh, who did this who did uh, put uh, on my discord over there somebody said that there's gonna be a napoleon movie coming out i believe we had this at, at some point a discussion about it but oh my god when is it coming out official trailer 2023 joaquin phoenix and uh, vanessa kirby and definitely wanted to, where, when is this coming out by the way big z big z is big z here my friend are you here when is this coming out does anybody know when this uh, movie is coming out uh oh my god it's produced by ridley scott oh i definitely want to see this film uh when is it coming out it opens in theaters on 22 of november 20 2023 okay so this year we got something to watch boys we got something to watch anyway we're getting in and it looks like the players also did get into the correct slots over here so they load in into the correct civilizations hopefully uh, there aren't going to be any more problems with uh, crashes and so on i'm just not going to touch anything until i actually see i can move and stuff uh, starts to actually move around the screen i'm not going to touch a thing um uh, during the game we do have uh, dr zeta with i think the bi the biggest challenge of them all uh, we did uh, notice that hyperion is trying to get as much science as he can from the beginning to Trying to get an advantage against Yogtrial Theodora uh, to the north. Now, uh, Theodora also has a big question, a big decision in front of him. What kind of religion is he going to want to go for? Oh, I see the globe spinning. It's spinning. Let's go. Please wait. Oh, I can touch buttons. I can touch buttons. Okay, so we do have over here um, Yogdrial trying to go to the northeast with a third settler, getting his uh, shrines out for that faith button from the beginning. He's only on four right now, but he's going to get his shrines and he's going to get uh, Moksha in Constantinople. I'm pretty sure that faith generation is going to be much better later on. I do have to also point out Byzantium is not really well known for its uh, scientific adventures over here requirement. And we're going to need to see him uh, try to get some campus here and there but i'm pretty sure he's gonna prioritize getting uh, uh gavro plaza next and probably most probably a theater square now we do have uh, him back settling here where he does have the fresh water he could try to side settle on the east side of constantinople but the land quality is not just not that good now we do have uh, antium uh, finishing up the campus over here that's going to be another plus uh, three with rome uh, already finishes a uh, plus four uh, hyperion is on 11 science and 10 culture right next to york trials six and five that is a major difference between them now we do have uh, Dr. Zeta also getting an array of uh, arches from all of his series another three arches are coming out and I do see him uh, trying to get uh, woo -woo horse by riding in four tens uh, this means the the window of opportunity of striking the series of um, dr zeta is probably gonna be in the next six uh, turns uh, because he does need at least uh, one or two turns to get uh, one of those horses out uh, it, i don't actually see Cynthia able to apply military pressure against uh, dr zeta before that and i do have to point out this is because actually dr zeta did not go for his terrestrial navigation he wanted to secure his borders first and then go for the harbors uh this actually will slow down a little bit his development but i mean what does it matter if you develop your cities if they're going to be taken anyway right so he wants to guarantee the safety first we do have him upgrading already his horse style and uh, he's going to need to upgrade some of the turtles in the water i'm pretty sure um, he's going to want to get quite a big army to fight off aztec next to him and uh, shoka uh, Scythia to the southwest 
Now we do have uh, to take a look at Aztec positioning here. Malinanko did get settled on the coast towards the southwest. Uh, New York surprisingly did not get put on the coast over here to the, it's the east side, but there is a banana tile that can be settled, and I'm pretty sure it is going to be Guernaros that's going to get the city there. We do have also the first horses of the game coming out of uh, the American cities, and Guernaros uh, will have um, the first moves, or I should say should have the first attacks to go against the fives. Uh, there is a unit here in Occitao that will be smashed to smithereens with the new horses coming out from washington unfortunately there was a forest uh, flood over here between the two cities uh, but at least it did get some extra production on those tiles now we do have um, also guernaroth uh, getting a lot of uh, production bonus here from the god of the forge pantheon while he's uh, moving his scouts uh, towards the west side and we do need to see how fives will react to this i'm pretty sure horse by riding is going to be discovered there in two turns by fives and uh, he does have builders coming out from at least Akakup, so he can try to uh, get some chops going i do have to mention uh, you do see the landings to akakup is actually filled with rainforest that's not gonna be easy to chop unless he actually gets his bronze working going so that's gonna be a problem anyway <laughs> Uh, looking at uh, Theodora, he did get his uh, city towards the northeast. I do want uh, to actually take a look at Zulu. He did get religious settlements as a uh, pantheon, and he's going to have a decent amount of cities for him to use that uh, trait. Uh, well, let's actually take a look at uh, city patron goddess here from five. So I think we actually took a look and uh, take, um, taken a look at all of the pantheons here. Uh, initiation rights. Rome did go for divine spark. Okay. I mean, he's getting uh, extra bonuses here in his uh, scientist points. That's pretty good. I guess we're going to need to see if uh, that's going to be uh, valuable here during the game. Now, well, I guess it's going to have some value in the game, but is it going to be that valuable in the game? We do have him uh, getting his fourth city out from Rome, and I do see him following up with uh, more campuses. If I would have to guess, he's going to try to pull off an attack against Byzantium at uh, uh, the night timing. Uh, this game is uh, so weird uh, all these guys with good space to sim also have war in their uh, hands yes exactly this is uh this is gonna be chaotic i would say uh, let me actually take a look on uh, the left team and right team we do have on the left side um, middle move middle move okay i'm just gonna link them together because that's uh, one less character so it doesn't sprawl out and on the other side we do have a boomer APMs, APM. There we go. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Bo middle move on the left side uh, today with uh, Psycha, Doctor Zeta, Hyperion, and the uh, Fives. And on the right side we do have uh, Gwernaroth, uh, Shoka, Yogdrial, and Kyla playing today for the Boomer APMs. Uh, Gally coming up from London. Interesting choice. Um, he might actually have a bit of a problem with his uh, points. Yes, he does actually. He doesn't have uh, enough points for the Golden Age, so he's gonna want to get them in the next few turns. Uh, the Gally should actually give him the necessary points. Now I do also notice uh, we do not have anybody else with a uh, problem getting the Rana score. Uh, we do have uh, Shoka also going for his bronze working coming up in five turns, getting a four center out from a Pokrovka while he's getting Magnus in two turns. He did get his first Saka horse archer to move a little bit towards the northeast, but it doesn't look like he's going to follow up uh, with uh, that many more units. He does want to uh, get more cities out. He does want to benefit a little bit from his uh, land over here to improve it and create a base and then go against his opponent. Now we do have uh, to take a look also at the city states with 1026, so the players uh, did actually get uh, stabilized here. Vilnius with Ayutthaya and Kaguana will be the ones of giving the culture bonuses to the players. We do have Brussels with Singapore and Buenos Aires for the industry. Looks like uh, Geneva and Anshan will be uh, providing the science benefits. Uh, we do have also Brussels, Singapore, and, uh, I did say that, and Gazargamo with uh, Granada coming up for the military. Muscat is going to be the only one for the trade and Jerusalem is going to be the only one for religion. Uh, we only have a single religious civilization in the game, right? It's only going to be Theodora that's going to put down uh, holy sites and will try to benefit from some extra faith button. But we might actually see quite a bit of uh, faith necessary and generated here by Scythia. Uh, you can see he's uh, upgrading as many pastures as possible to get the extra culture. Uh, while Scythia is on 7 science and 10 culture, he's also making a measly 4 faith at 10 from just a single Kurgan improvement. Uh, this is going to be uh, quite amazing when he's going to get uh, his other code guys improved. For example, over here, another one. We do have... Uh, uh 
in the other city also over here um, over here for example this one next to the two pastures and so on there are quite a few places for him to develop these now we uh, do need to see also how dr zeta is going to want to push his two opponents out of his uh, borders here with Aztec getting a few more of these eagle warriors to defend himself uh, i do see he's not going for his bronze working yet um he's going for irrigation state workforce coming up in two tenths uh, finishing up his uh, lighthouses in the cities and getting uh, the harbor down in all of them yeah, this means uh, England might have an opportunity to try to go and harass uh, Aztec on the city of uh, Teayo, while uh, at the moment Scythia is not applying any military pressure against England. Of course, uh, he's not even that close as Aztec to England. Uh, we might actually see uh, England here uh, try to lash out a little bit, so he keeps his uh, opponents on their toes. Uh, we do have a single settle over here to the north of England, and I'm a bit sad that we did actually have uh, Rome put the city of Puteoli exactly in this place. It does feel like uh, that should have been a city is saved for England, so he gets um, extra production there. I would have also Zulu with his fourth city out uh, on the west side. He has a fifth settler uh, on the way and the sixth one uh, getting trained in Bulawayo. We do have him uh, actually not starting up with Ikandas, which is a little bit out of uh, character here for Zulu. Even in a same position, the Ikandas are quite good, uh, giving you uh, a lot of um, bonuses. You do get the extra gold and culture for the buildings inside of them. You do get the half cost, so they're very, very cheap to put down. Uh, you do get... Um uh, how to say you do get to, to build them in droves and of course you can follow up with commercials afterwards for those internal trade routes uh, we do have him uh, prioritizing getting those internal trade routes for the food and production and i guess uh, the culture will suffer here for quite some time in um upside chance empire nine science with eight culture we do have him on 32 production at the moment i don't have to point out five is on 26 production while we do have guernaroth on 29 not that big of a difference but if you take into account america does have um god of the forge uh, it, it does add up quite uh, nicely. Uh, it looks like also a spamming of encampments in New York, Washington, and Boston. All three cities are building encampments here in the cities of America. Guernalth is not fooling around. He's going to want to get this all in against Cree, finish him up before any kind of Zulu army is going to come to save him. And looking at the vision over here, Guernalth does not really know about Zulu's position. He only has a single... Uh, uh, I mean, this is not even a tile discovered. Uh, this is just an edge of an empire being discovered behind the mountains. He doesn't know how much flatland, how much um, time does uh, Aztec, uh, does uh, Zulu actually need to put the units on the battlefield. We do have America pushing forward with his archers and his uh, horses. He yet doesn't have a general, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see him starting to acquire the general point soon, uh, especially after he's going to finish the encampments. And of course, uh, right after, uh, he might actually put the card on so he gets uh, them faster now to have um, also more traders coming out from the cities of uh, Kailak. Uh, he got the builder back uh, from uh, his expansion here in the south. He's going to get to improve this territory here next to Yosemite, getting himself uh, more production to use from each of those tiles. Uh, new horses coming off here from London. I wouldn't be surprised if he's uh, even going to take the chance to go for a fourth city. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anybody that's uh, going to stop him, especially if he does have horses on his side. Now to have also Rome managing to uh, get his 15 science working with 11 culture he's putting magnus in the capital actually switch pingala to antium uh rather than uh, something else it looks like uh, rome is gonna want to use internals for the beginning of the game and then uh, switch to externals interesting choice here we do have a government plaza place to the southwest of rome and i do see a fourth city is going to the south towards that volcano he's um i guess wary of putting another city yet uh, next to rome towards the southwest even though this is uh this may style over here could actually uh, be a okay city Anyway, uh, we do see uh, also Yogdrial did manage to get his first religion of the game, choral music with a pilgrimage. We do have a river goddess as a pantheon, so he's getting extra adjacency from the rivers. Uh, pretty good actually for that um, for those holy sites. He has uh, two of them, while the third one didn't actually get put next to next to the river kick this is a bit surprising but it is what it is he has uh, his horse has improved i do see new monuments coming out for the extra culture he's on nine science and 12 culture at the moment with uh, 22 faith at turn this is a pretty good uh, number going into the first uh, monumentality uh golden is secured uh, yes i believe golden is secured on all of the players yes we do have 21 on dr zeta who was the last one uh, to need to get one looks like he did manage to get a horse out uh, before the era finished anyway uh, also Romy setting up uh, such a god tier uh 
Corsair push if they uh, manage to execute it right Byzantium will get the run over yeah I believe so I do believe so let me actually uh, take a look over here on the prediction uh ch -ch -ch -ch. There we go. Start prediction uh, for who will win. And on one side, we do have uh, Boomer APM. And uh, on the other side, we do have the middle move. Submission period. Let's go for 30 minutes. And we're going to need to see if um, it's going to be faster than that or not. Well, we do uh, have the next turn. Opening up uh, the next turn. Of course, all of the players will get the option to uh, secure their golden age uh, points we're going to need to see what kind of uh, options they're going to go for uh we do have gwenaroth uh, pushing in with his uh, archers looks like uh he might actually get uh, the drop on one of the horses of his opponent here with um, these archers should actually i think only one can shoot this one cannot shoot the horse he can attack it with only two horses this is not going to be enough not going to be enough. Not going to be enough. Only two horses. But anyway, uh, there was an Okchita out here that he could have uh, maybe taken down with the arches. But yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, we do have uh, quite a few more arches for him. He's uh, He just finished his first um, encampment. And we do have, see a guy from Plaza getting put down next to the city of Washington. Uh, he's going to need a few builders uh, to try to get everything done here. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to start uh, putting the card in to get that uh, general. Uh, we do have uh, new units coming up from Cree. And uh, since we are in the new era let's actually take a look at the player's choices side chat still did not choose something yet i'm pretty sure it's going to be a pen brush and voice but i do want to double check he's going to have six cities pretty quickly here with the quadrocuza getting another one towards the northwest it looks like bola wire is going to send one towards the east side as well uh commercial hub being two turns from Enda and Dodakusuka and uh, multiple builders from his empire uh, being getting trained over here in the cities so he can upgrade his resources and uh, get better uh as they got a split uh as they got a split uh yes and no yes and no he can set uh, another city over here which is going to be quite safe getting access to a t tile that's it actually a t tile and uh, maybe if he stretches thin he's going to get a diamond tile that's it an extra two amenities here can be set he doesn't have an extra continent towards the northeast now uh, england also doesn't have an extra continent i gotta say the first map does did look much better much better overall we do have uh, Dr. Zeta choosing a monumentality golden age. He does have uh, initiation rights as a pantheon. So he's getting faith every time he actually pumps out a unit. He's going to try to use that uh, to uh, get some uh, builders in his cities to help him uh, chop out this territory and apply the military and uh, uh, how to say get uh, advantage over his opponent from uh, pumping out units. Being able to defend himself is going to be key over here. I think we do have a decently strong army from England against uh, even both of his opponents. He does need to focus a little bit more on seeming so he doesn't uh, lag behind uh, his uh, opponents here uh, anyway we do have uh, Hyperion with uh, 19 science and 19 culture right next to him he's also making only 11 gold per turn at the moment he didn't put a single commercial down and I do not see him improving that many tiles but he did manage to get one of those truffle tiles improved next to Putaoli now some dice tiles are waiting for his uh, builders to improve them and I do see new setters coming out from Rome and Antium got his fourth city in the south where he's gonna put a very powerful campus uh, plus uh, five over here is going to give him a lot of uh, science now we do have also fives with a pen passion voice golden age in a bit of a pickle he has uh, the american army bearing down on him while america doesn't yet have that much uh, extra strength on his sources uh, if he does manage to get his um, general quickly he's going to have uh, the ability to overpower his opponent here and i do have to point out america does have a very strong courser push uh, that might actually be a bit too strong for um, Kree to handle if zulu doesn't enter the war and we do have uh, fives over here with also 43 production versus america's 31 the fact that he is uh, using those two trade routes and he did manage to get the um uh, governor magnus promotions is allowing him to get very very good uh, numbers here now only six gold a turn is not going to give him a strong economy and i guess uh, that's going to be a, a bit problematic if uh, he needs to keep on pumping units and we do have him building up an encampment in one turn because if watch again he does have a builder that he uh, actually two builders that he could use to chop that uh, quite a few forests uh, next to me watch will give him the option 
uh, Zula is too far away for, to enter at uh, quarters, uh, at owners he joins at uh, cuirassiers. Uh, yes and no, I think even coursers can actually pass through this land, mostly because it's flat land. Like even if they do have to cross the rivers, uh, they, they might actually uh, get there quite fast, to be honest. Like you can send horses to Cree uh, city, maybe Cree will settle a city here, right? Ideally you want a Cree to settle a city here, and then uh, you can upgrade in the Cree city and pound your opponent with that. Yeah, but anyway, that's we're going to see if that's going to be the strategy they want to go for. Uh, we do have um, also Gwenard here wanting to put a second project in the city of New York. Uh, this makes me think if uh, he does want to actually guarantee this uh, general advantage over his opponent. Only Scythia is making points and he's on the same team here. Uh, Shoka is to the southeast and as you can see Shoka is preparing for an all-out war against his opponent. Now we do have uh, to take a look at... Uh, Gwernaroth here first with Teddy Roosevelt uh, benefiting from 11 science and 15 culture. The lack of production is uh, making itself felt uh, for a, a little while. We do have uh, Pingala establishing in the city of New York. He did manage to build his government plaza, but didn't yet specialize that uh, specialized that uh, somehow. Uh, he has another uh, an array of uh, possible city slots over here this one being probably the best one towards the southwest of boston uh, with the river defense and uh, quite a few good tiles to use from the forest fire now we do have him finishing the project in washington next turn he's gonna get a big boost in points here he's gonna need another one probably and uh, we don't need to see how much uh, military power can uh, Kree withstand here now uh, we do have shoka 12 science and 24 culture actually getting a significant advantage over victoria the sacrifice of victoria for uh, the golden choosing a monumentality keeps you low in the points in the uh, total outputs that you have you're not going to get that much science you're not going to get that much culture uh, so unfortunately actually that um, i would say actually even guarantees your demise if you do not know uh, how to um, counter it how to balance it out you know uh, with uh, or if you don't have uh, the opportunity to balance it out we do have in camo train project coming up in three turns from city and he did manage to get irrigation so he um, got that uh, swamp out uh, next to Prokrovka uh, we do see uh, new Kurgans are being put down uh, from him so he gets uh, the extra faith uh, generated per turn and uh, that uh, extra production with gold we do see him on barely five faith at ten so I'm pretty sure he's not working that many of the uh, at least this one he's not working at he's not working this Kurgan now we do have um, also him managing to get another thing coming down from Koloba I do see him trying to prioritize going for Wallace throne which is gonna have uh, two advantages first more uh, more production towards military units second less maintenance for each which is going to be so important for their economy uh, we do have uh, York Trial with a monumentality golden age benefiting from 33 faith a turn a religion choral music with uh, pilgrimage for the extra faith and we do have um, him trying to go for ancestral hall which i believe it's a major mistake over here going for ancestral hall uh we do already have him with the monumentality and i gotta say he doesn't have that many cities to settle we did count them at the beginning and uh we, that just isn't that much territory for yogtrial to go for i believe he is usually the player that really wants to like get very wide empires this will probably not gonna be that game just saying i'm a bit sad about it for him but it is what it is and we do have uh, kailak also with 14 science and 16 culture with uh, montezuma still on three series and he did choose to go for the pembrush and voice golden age he's starting to acquire the admirals he's probably the only one making admirals because england did not put his royal navy dockyards down uh, ancestral hall coming up in two turns from aztec does mean uh, he's gonna want to get um, as many series out as possible as, as he can and benefit from the free builder that he's gonna get there he does have uh, this one one going towards the north that's going to be his fourth he has uh, one two three over here uh, yeah another three so that's going to be like seven cities that he could easily put down uh, maybe there's going to be a skirmish for the city of Anshan <coughs> we're going to need to see uh, Yogdrial here can definitely come towards the west side towards him no problem and I'm pretty sure since they are allies they might actually try to uh, get some trade routes going here Byzantium uh, will need a trading partner somewhere uh, we do have uh, a short attack from Scythia he's trying to block uh, the finishing of an encampment of England from the city of London uh, while he does have some sucker horse arches dealing damage to his opponent you can see the horses of um, Scythia uh, are uh, actually very strong on the defense um, but there's, there aren't that many sucker for such as to make a difference in this uh, war. Uh, I do also want to say uh, 
the general did get recruited here in the city of generals and it will need to go to the front line it will take him quite a few turns to get there we do have another encampment project coming up from pokrovka it looks like he is trying to stop kree from getting one um america is also three points uh, from getting a general and i'm pretty sure he's also gonna try to get the project no he's not he did finish his uh, three encampments so he's just gonna get it passively uh kree does need another project and he doesn't have a chop this time he doesn't have a chop this time or does he? No, he doesn't. The encampment is from Mikis watching. He's gonna get it next turn. So he needs two turns. This, this turn, actually. This turn and the next turn. America's gonna get one. Cynthia did get one. Can he get another one? Can Cynthia get another one? He has a chop. He has a chop. If I'm. So. Okay. Cynthia just got one. So we do have one, two, and possibly three, four here. There we go. Three, four. There we go. Uh, actually sorry sorry that's this is an animal uh, anyway we got three we got three and uh it doesn't look like they have enough points to get another one america just didn't uh, continue getting those uh, projects that is unfortunate he could have actually had uh, uh, such an advantage over kree such an advantage over kree but anyway that uh, project is gonna get chopped in mikis Ivanchik. looks like uh, he didn't really need it it's two turns away from uh, recruiting it anyway uh no general for england yeah no general for england though uh they did manage to secure this advantage you're right and this is gonna be impressive a, like very important i would say not impressive very important we got uh marcus Ricinus crassus is the first merchant looks like ariabata is the first scientist uh no hypatia revealed yet uh looks like also b sheng as the first great engineer probably nobody's gonna want to get this one going and the Trunk truck is going to be the last um, general. I do see commercials are starting to be put down from uh, Rome's uh, series. Uh, we do have another center coming up from Antium, and uh, Rome does have an array of builders helping him out develop his cities here uh, with uh, actually two settlers. Oh, three settlers. Two settlers from Putolian and Antium, and a third one did get out of Kume. Uh, so he's going to be very big, very quick over here. Very big, very quick. Uh, he didn't finish his Gavron Plaza, nor did he actually specialize it with uh, something. So, of course, uh, he does have ancestral hall uh we do need to see what kind of building is he gonna want to get uh, specialized i would assume it's uh either gonna be audience chamber as the first choice or world of throne as the second one ancestral hall doesn't actually have any business to be there we do have uh, markets coming out from upside chat city still no he kind of being put down over here from him i'm not even sure if he has um a Bro's working here. He did put down his Gavron Plaza to the northwest of uh, Ulundi, and uh, we do see him uh, improving some of his plantations here for the extra gold. He has some uh, resources in the water, Teltas, for example, to improve, and some uh, pearl tiles, but he kind of locked himself out of them. Anyway, it does seem like uh, with his 246 uh, series, uh, he's going to be. Uh, generating a decent amount of gold for his uh, teammates to benefit from with uh, dr zeta being the first one that he needs to actually fund i'm pretty sure even fives in the north will need uh, quite a few funds uh, to upgrade his units we only have 20 gold over here for fives uh, looking at the army deployment here from America, he is uh, getting his general out on the field. He will actually mean, need to meet uh, the Kree general on the battlefield also, which is going to give a serious advantage to Kree's uh, defense. Uh, there is a possibility for America to actually wrap around, and I don't know why he's not doing that. He could send these, uh, or at least like three, four horses towards the north and try to go towards the uh, north of Miki Sivacic to hit it from there. There just isn't enough... Um, army here size for kree to help out with that we do have um, a kree scout trying to get some pillages to the northeast of new york and it looks like uh, there's a warrior there trying to stop him from doing just that uh, looking on uh, the attack of uh, city against uh, england looks like uh, he did move back uh, he's gonna get attacked on his sucker horse archer and uh, he might actually lose it if he doesn't move it back now uh, we do have uh, also a possibility for uh, city to take down one of the horses of england and i hope uh, he's actually gonna take this uh, opportunity uh, we do need to see how much um, army is city is gonna get out uh, at the moment he's making only eight faith a turn and he has 78 in the bank not that big we do have uh, him getting a few more saga horse archers and uh, still did not actually plant all of his uh, kurgans but i would imagine this builder is gonna get a kurgan right now the best kurgan of them all between his uh, settles here 
no other deceased than his governor plaza and uh, his uh, encampments i would imagine uh, we should actually see something like a commercial or a campus put down i would say he should prioritize his uh, co um, campuses here for the science uh, he's getting pingala in the city of isik and i would imagine he's going to want to get the uh, campus over there also uh we do have him uh, moving towards the front line the military engineer will create the pathways for um, the units to resupply the front line a little bit faster while uh, we also have aztec uh, starting to deploy a few settlers to the southeast getting uh, a little bit closer to the English borders. Uh, okay, there we go. Kurgan got put down. We got a five phase just from that tile. Uh, Shoka over here did get a 13 phase uh, to work for him. Uh, we do also have uh, Puteoli with another settler moving towards the south. Uh, he's gonna get uh, his uh, hanging gardens built in the city of Rome while he's uh, starting to explore. Uh, exp and to the east side also uh, we do have him uh, starting to get a wave of builders and i'm pretty sure actually we're getting uh, very close to the feudalism timing uh, we do have uh, rome over here on recorded history he should be close on it i'm pretty sure he's uh, gonna want to get uh, these builders uh, stopped one turn away from finishing switch on the card like finish feudalism switch on the card with the plus two builders uh, uh, charges and then finish the builders all of them uh, getting the 30 percent off uh, from the builder card and then the extra two charges uh, when you switch um we do have uh, byzantium also actually sending a settler to the south this is very surprising and uh, quite uh, dangerous over here he's gonna get uh, closer to rome uh, rome is not gonna get to uh, not gonna need to work that much to get to his opponent which uh, i think it, it might be a bit of a mistake over here for you we do have uh, him moving a settler towards the north looks like he might actually end up in the tundra over there touching it we we do have hippodromes also coming up from Byzantium while uh, Rio Trial is on 16 science. He does have 26 culture. He's getting his libraries from Nicomedia. He's losing four gold a turn, though. Not ideal. And of course, Hyperion still has the best uh, science, the bigger science number uh, 26 and 23 here. Culture going. Now, he didn't need to build his um, libraries yet. Uh, looks like also Ariabata did get picked up by uh, Rome. He's uh, generating 6.9 Grey Santis points at 10, while Byzantium is just on one, Aztec is on one, America on one, Zulu on one. Uh, he does have a significant advantage uh, into the scientist screen in the sense it's clean now we do need to see a lot more saga horse archers showing up uh, to the battlefield and uh, it does seem like a uh, cti is doing just that he's getting a lot more of these units to uh, move towards the front there and at the same time connecting his cities uh, we do need to see also him uh, choosing if he wants to chop all of these tiles or not at least this one needs to be chopped and a kurgan needs to be put down i gotta say man more kurgans more kurgans shoka more kurgans um england is so late on everything they are going to die quickly it does feel like that yeah it does feel like that also mamaleto hello there sir what division is this this is the third division of the cvfr squadrons um also boomer apms are going to deny vicky the channel this is so game over for england over committed uh, to the early defense now and he won't be able to defend the coursers uh yes yes i do think uh, courser timing will be very strong on both america and Scythia. Uh, both of them do have uh, such such a good advantage of or he, their opponents at that particular time now uh, also i don't know if uh, byzantium has any other choice uh, really i think it's a good move to uh, just settle towards rome and take this uh, good city spots uh, if it invites the war you just have to find it out if he doesn't uh, settle there he would uh, end up here on his own yeah yeah i mean I'm, my main worry about this city is the lack of fresh water uh, rather than anything else anyway we do have a stone coming up from constantinople in uh, four turns i do see um hippotropes are going to be finished here and uh, the libraries are going to get done uh, england did manage to uh, get his uh, governor plaza with uh, three turns away from finishing his wall of throne he's trying to get a few swordsmen here for the extra defensive uh, capability but his science is suffering 11 per turn with 15 culture uh, only 40 production. Uh, for example, Scythia uh, next to him is uh, already 15 uh, science with 27 culture. He didn't use uh, his advantage to get a campus down yet. And he does have 46 production with uh, 14 faith. As you can see, he keeps on uh, getting units over here in the city of Genos and he's from his other cities and building a second encampment. Uh, we do need to see if um, there's going to be any movement here. Finally, we do have Quirinal sending at least one horse to the north, which can actually do a bit of damage here. Maybe take out uh, one of the arch of uh, fives if he's not careful and we don't need to see if Gwenoth is gonna want to last move this and then first move it uh, but it does look like at the moment nothing's happening 
No, no, he's not. He's actually gonna leave it alone, which I think it's a mistake. You wanna? Oh, there we go. Oh, he didn't last move, first move. He just moved. This is, uh, I mean, this is not gonna work this way because there we go. Fives is just gonna block that. It's very important how you actually synchronize uh, the attacks on your opponent so you deny your opponent the ability to react back to you. So if you would have had the last move, first move, that might have guaranteed a kill on the archer. Uh, in this case, you basically guaranteed the defense of the archer the survival of the archer uh, boomer need to save up uh, gold they got a lot of uh, course of timings uh, they will need to get so they will uh, need a lot of gold give me a second over here um aztec and america can attack with uh, courses and byzantium will probably have to uh, defend with knights uh, and middle move will have uh, to match it Opt is uh, going to be key in this uh, game uh, gpt is going to be key. yeah gpt is definitely going to be key uh, it does seem like at the moment we do have a good gpt on uh, psy chat and uh, kylak uh, with both of them uh, well are staying out of the war for the moment we do have a uh, kind of like getting a few new cities and uh, he's moving towards the southeast now uh, going towards uh, england over here looks like a city are putting more military pressure on england is going to slowly chew through the military of uh, dr zeta now we do need to see if uh, he's going to have enough uh, military power to withstand this and of course production and everything else uh, hyperion getting those uh, builders i do see at the moment we still we still don't see the extra charges on them now uh, campus research projects coming up in rome interesting that he even wants to get this going he wants to secure hypatia for himself and of course he's making already a lot of points he's on 6.9 uh, with that project he's probably going to get hypatia anyway a free library and some extra science for each library uh, from then on is going to be quite good for him uh, byzantium did manage to get his own two four six cities uh, he's probably going to get a seventh one no six cities by the looks of it i will have him uh, putting down a few campuses for the extra science stonehenge will allow him to get a great um uh, sorry, uh, an apostle so he can evangelize his uh, religion. Uh, what's the Odora belief? Choral music with um, uh, the one that gives you the plus to faith uh, from each city converted. Pilgrimage, pilgrimage. Now, Magnus is established in Thessalonica. We do have an arena coming up from that city also. Pingala in Nicomedia and the library. That's going to be enough uh, science for your to catch up to Hyperion. Uh, Hyperion is uh, on 34 science and 29 culture at the moment. Still needs to um, get uh, his uh, next campuses finished. Not to mention his uh, next series down. He's on 2, 4, 5 right now. 6 actually with Ravenna. He's going to be on 7th with this one over here. I'm a bit surprised he didn't get it on the main style, but it is what it is. I guess, uh, you know, it's much easier to protect this uh, he doesn't actually need to worry about soca getting on the coast here i'm pretty sure uh, Cynthia is not going to want to be coastal but if he does manage to take over the city of london and manchester well that might be a bit of a coastal pressure for rome uh, i wouldn't be surprised if hyperion might actually want to get some uh, if if i would say if England survives and the game goes longer. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Rome will want to get some sort of uh, added damage over here from the coast. Some um, early on quad dreams turning into frigates and so on. Um, with much pleasure, Ricky Maru. Also, Aztec should get a holy side. They probably won't, but with no other religious ships in the game other than Byzantium, they could get an easy plus eight taxes uh, with Aztec converting the other two. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but I guess we're going to need to see if uh, they will actually want to... Um, do that because that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of uh, paying attention to that strategy that, those are a lot of details that you need to get worked out and you might say no but mm, there's uh, quite a bit of synchronization that needs to be done and uh, you do need to pay attention to um, uh, the face generation uh, the, the units and so on and so forth uh, we do have uh, more and more city and such uh, such as appear in the battlefield with uh, the military engineer creating the pathways towards that battlefield it's going to be much easier for the such such as to get uh, uh, through and as you can see some of them are getting the level 2 promotions and uh, making them extremely dangerous and dr zeta is uh, gonna need to try to get to um, either pikemen or uh, try to get courses which to be honest it looks like it's gonna be a very hard uh, project for him he's on 17 science with 15 culture he did get that pingala in doesn't like his science is gonna get better anytime soon we're gonna need to see if he's gonna want to put a campus or two down he does have a government plaza here that could actually get a nice uh, juicy campus next to it and it's gonna be a plus three uh, to the west of manchester that city does have the fourth uh, population but do you actually want to get a harbor or a campus this is a very big question for dr zeta to answer now uh, 
on the west side on the western front looks like america is going to get pushed from the north Cree did get out with a few horses and uh, i think this was a bit of a mistake in uh, execution rather than idea um america should have actually deployed uh, at least three four horses like a unit uh, or a few units that could actually de damage take out uh, at least one horse or uh, some units from his opponent even uh, get the opportunity to take a city that didn't happen he only sent a single horse which was not enough and it was easily countered by Cree. he also did get discovered and uh, could not manage to secure the kill on the archer so all in all i think a uh, difference in uh, execution style would have um, done a lot of difference here now we do have um, campus in Boston, campus in New York. Uh, America is trying to get uh, more science than his opponent while uh, Cree is on uh, 15 science. We got Gwernaroth over here at the moment on 23. He didn't manage to get Pingala in the city of New York, which is going to help him uh, get more points. And uh, looking at this, he, he did just jump to 32 science, uh, getting himself uh, double the amount of science that Power Maker is making per turn. Now uh, that uh, advantage might actually keep on building up but i would say uh, kree is gonna try to catch up anyway i do see uh, new cities uh, coming out um, new settlers being put down here to the north and to the west side he does have his campuses uh, prioritized no commercials again a bit of a, a bit of a different choice for kree which is not going to give him all of the benefits from his trade routes uh, he, even if he did get the magnus he's only using the two trade routes here doesn't have a third one as an option yet now we do need to see also if america is going to try to get to castles yes he is a seven turns to castles while five is uh, trying to get to will on the bottom one we do have uh, Rome also putting down a few more commercials and I do see he got that city on the east side probably not gonna care that much uh, that uh, Zulu is gonna be on the other side of the planet I'm pretty sure Zulu is gonna want to keep on the land rather than expand on the sea uh, we do have pyramids also finished up by uh, Psychat a wave of builders with probably feudalism bonuses on each of them is coming out of his cities uh, we do have him improving some more of his towns and even getting a city uh, to the east of Bulawayo Kangela uh, which is uh, again gonna get that the support of a builder he's getting a decent amount of traders starting to connect his cities uh, he did manage to recruit the first merchant marcos Ricinus crassus the next one is coleus and i don't see anybody picking up uh, one of the extra trade route ones uh, rome did manage to secure hypatia for himself which gives him a serious advantage in the science uh, he's uh, 32 science and 33 culture i don't think he actually activated hypatia did he activate Hypatia? Did he actually activate Hypatia? Yes, he did. He did activate Hypatia. Okay. That's how he got that big boost in science. Okay. And do have uh, to see when he's what kind of districts is he gonna get from the other cities uh, kume did choose to actually put down a commercial and a campus prioritize getting the commercial instead of the campus and uh, we do have ravenna also opening up with a commercial instead of a campus well i guess it's uh, good anyway uh, audience chamber also is gonna be the choice for uh, rome today so he's gonna want all cities we do have uh, byzantium from the north also um, managing to get a significant boost in his faith per turn 54 faith per turn with 30 science and 30 three culture yog trial is actually managing to keep up with uh, rome stats you know to have him uh, getting a few uh, new buildings uh, water mills and uh, granaries here uh, arena coming out from thessalonica he's gonna get to pump out a few heavy chariots uh, for free from the arena and i do see holy sites also coming out from nicaea well uh Diracium did get put down in the south uh, trying to get a granary over there so he has enough um, <laughs> housing he did manage to finish a campus which does give him the plus four sign which is quite valuable for him every point of science is valuable and well it looks like at the moment Sylvia is managing to chew very quickly through the units of england we do have him with uh, an amazing amount of uh, bonus because he did manage to secure a general he has the extra plus five over his opponent from his uh, civilization bonus whenever he's going to attack into units that are wounded and a heal option whenever he's going to totally destroy a unit take it down he's gonna recover some health on his unit that destroyed that unit it's very 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 powerful uh, Zulu is his teammate so I doubt he will attack uh, Rome yes yes I was thinking more about uh, coastal trade routes rather than attacking Rome um, I should have actually mentioned that I'm sorry that was my fault I should have mentioned I was referring to that Okay. 
Pirien about to chop uh, in the city of Mediolanum. I would expect him uh, to put down a campus over there. I would have him finishing up his commercials and uh, he's still gonna require a few projects if he wants to be uh, competitive getting uh, the merchants here. Uh, looks like uh, Zangian is the next one and it's gonna get that extra trade out capacity for whoever picks it. Uh, Zul is on 9.2 points. We do have uh, Rome on 1.1. Uh, while I do see uh, Scythia starting to uh, do the attack runs on England, it does seem like uh, he's gonna take down the encampment of England while he's gonna work on the other units. He did manage to smash through that swordsman that was uh, over there, but he got his Saka horse actually in a bit of a pickle. That's quite close to his opponent's series. Now we do not have movement here, movement here, yeah there is some movement over here so he might actually uh, keep on attacking, I would uh, say he should actually prioritize those uh, weaker units, not the swordsman. Uh, Bioman Kun, hello there sir, are you casting my boys the bowers? I am! Woo -woo. Pog Pog, yeah? Uh, the boomers are going to destroy this game, man, the boomers man, you gotta trust the boomers man. I gotta say, Colosseum coming in for Kylak. For Kylak, he's gonna get that um, no, extra boost in his happiness. He's already at the plus six level, so you can imagine he's gonna be quite happy during the game. Ecstatic citizens uh, do give you so many more bonuses. Uh, we do have Kylak on 59 science and 47 culture. It's like he actually put the car in the secondary gear and started pushing that gas to the to the ground. Wow! You can you can see it, you know, you can hear it. Wow! I guess you could say experience wins this game. Yeah, happy gaming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, boomers. Uh, we do see also Gwenaroth is uh, putting a bit of. Uh, he's keeping up the pressure on the fives. He's not actually putting more. We do have a few new horses coming up from his cities, getting deployed towards the north uh, to counter any kind of Cree incursion. While Cree was uh, actually trying to expand himself, he's going to get five cities, and America is going to sit on his three. I don't believe this might be a mistake here but Gwernard did want to get as uh, high as possible in his signs so he can get to castles. You do have uh, Shoka asking uh, Zeta to unstack. Oh where unstack? Oh he needs to delete this. Yeah unfortunate. Well that uh, that uh, is gonna go down and it's gonna go down with a bang. Okay. Uh, Oh my god, this is so much damage by the way. From the Saka horse archers onto swordsman. This is uh this is so much damage. He might have... no, I don't think he can take it down. But anyway, this is uh this is still nice. We do have a fourth city from Zeta moving towards the north. Uh, between him and the uh, Byzantium, there's gonna be some mountains. And uh, we've got uh, the first classical units also coming out from Hyperion. Uh, of course, he's gonna be pumped out from the city of Rome. I do see a builder in Mediolanum, and he still did not uh, put down his campus over here. Come on, Hyperion! Let's go! Campus says, campus says, campus says. Campus says. No campus. No campus for him. Oh well. Uh, anyway, no, let's actually take a look over here. Anshan has also been taken down by Byzantium. He got a city state for himself. Looks like uh, Geneva is being uh, held by Psychat. Uh, so, yeah, Psychat on one side. We do not have um, a science city state for, uh, for uh, Boomer APM at the moment. It's going to be held by uh, their opponents by Mineral Move. Uh, we do have uh, to see if uh, Dr. Zeta over here is going to figure out uh, the way out of this uh, situation because his uh, capital, yes, is trying to get the ancient walls going. That in Camon is not gonna be uh, up for long. We do have uh, the Saka Horse Archers doing damage to it every time and not only getting more promotion points but also taking it down bit by bit. New horses are coming around from city and cities. Oh, look at the wave of horses. This is just look at the wave of horses going on to the front line over here. Dr. Zeta is just gonna be stomped. <laughs> Uh, just for the proxy. Wait, uh, Pebbleton, uh, 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 Aztec settling the pace of the game. Yeah, basically. Uh, also, Pebbleton 2, uh, probably just for the amenities players, often get an early entertainment complex where they do, uh, where they go wide, even without Colosseum. Uh, complex on Byzantium actually gives a lot of culture, culture that is true. Uh, also, just for the proximity, plus two nights, uh, probably. Uh, you're talking about uh, this? Uh, wait, what are you talking about? On Aztec, you're talking about Aztec? Aztec really wants Colosseum. He really wants Colosseum, yes. Now, as long as England isn't dead at Corsair, they won't even make it there. Alex 2005? No! Is, it, is this the demise of Dr. Zeta? Is this Sokka applying his military power against his opponent? 
and not allowing him to thrive over here man oh man anyway is uh, actually dr zeta gonna want to go forward here no he can't go forward right he's gonna end up in byzantium's grasp and yogdial by the way could take this city this is dangerous for dr zeta to put uh, such a juicy target next to a byzantium city i wouldn't be surprised if also byzantium is gonna apply quite a bit of uh, population pressure of, of on the city because it's very close to constantinople it would require constantinople to have a lot more uh, population but that's a sixth and this city next to him is going to get more population soon and while we do have four and four over here in manchester and newcastle and Pont time which are a little bit uh, there are the same distance actually two four uh five oh, actually sorry constantinople is one one further away but still that's a capital so much more pressure much bigger pressure coming out from it Okay, we do have uh, some attacks from Dr. Zeta, managing to take down one Saka horse archer. Shokai is going to follow back and uh, delete that uh, horse. He still did not take down um, the encampment, but he does have a choice right now to take it down. Uh, looks like uh, we do have uh, England with uh, also a swordsman right in front of London. The city is going to get the walls next time, and uh, it doesn't seem like Shokai right now could actually breach these defenses. We so does need a new wave of horses getting onto the front line and uh, getting deployed over there to, um, <laughs> first of all, take down the encampment right now. This is is uh, last chance before the walls go up i don't have to point out there are a significant uh, number of saka horse archers deployed over here uh they will get the option to chew through the ancient walls but they will need to take care of the units defending this and there we go the encampment is slowly being uh, hit by the horses he did get three of them to attack into it and secure that takeover with uh, the city of london needing to get the ancient walls next turn we do need to see if dr z over here is gonna keep his capital we do have another setter coming up from uh, Kailak. He's going to move it towards the east side of Tao. I wouldn't be surprised if he's just going to settle over there, but it looks like he's going to go for the 2 2 base. Uh, he's going to also benefit from the extra science from these uh, tiles. And I got to say, Kailak here did not actually uh, flex his military muscles against his opponent at all at the moment. He will have an amazing opportunity in the next part of the game. With uh, Dr. Zeta already barely on 18 signs, you can imagine Kailak is going to get a significant advantage. Quina Sears will not be that far off now uh, we don't need to take a look at the um, advantages over here that america is trying to build for himself he's two turns away from getting castles and three turns away from mercenaries he's gonna want to get these upgraded very quickly to go against fives while fives is trying to get his machinery in three it looks like he's very late to the party unfortunately actually uh, fives did not manage to um, uh, secure the bonuses of the namid and c on his uh, units or his um uh, scouts at the beginning i i think he actually found about that wonder very late in the game now we do need to see also if uh, Gwenarth is going to manage to get some siege units. It looks like uh, walls are going up in the city of Akhtarakup where he does have Governor Victor deployed and Kree is going to get a significant amount of chops in this uh, particular area. Uh, no Mickey Waps? Oh, there is a Mickey Wap over here. Okay, four city put down from uh, Liverpool already got converted by Byzantium. <laughs> it looks like uh, England over here is managing to keep his uh, population loyal. Uh, we do need to see what's going to happen with his uh, capital. He's going to be taken down and uh, lose some population not to mention his other cities are going to be taken down i also gotta say byzantium over here is just not gonna wait he's gonna move forward and it looks like he did manage to take down uh, i think he actually took down oh he did wait he did take down that archer there was an archer next to liverpool it just disappeared lol we got knights coming up from byzantium here the first one uh, next to constantinople and uh, it doesn't look like rome at the moment is uh, on the warpath uh, rome is trying to get uh, more advantages in the sim rather than anything else and he's uh, 55 science with 48 culture while yoktrial is 41 and 44 uh, the economy here is uh, taking a toll though uh, the good thing is montezuma is making a lot of gold on their side with uh, 71 gold he does have 126 production and 70 uh, 70 science with 54 culture now we do have uh, in the era score screen actually time ticking down for the next era it looks like Zulu is going to secure his golden age relatively easily he does need uh, five more points and he's going to get that going another wave of uh, setter is coming out of his cities and he still has a lot of land to explore over here uh, we do have uh, also Dr. Zeta with the uh, possible dark age which to be honest is, wouldn't be that bad at this point so he gets an extra plus five on his units but it looks like he's uh, he might not make it we do have Hyperion with uh, 40 
37 out of 55. He needs 8 points to go. And it does really seem like he's going to get in the industrial zone. Which is probably going to be a plus 4 here. Uh, yeah, it is going to be a plus 4. Uh, we did have um, also him putting these aqueducts in such a way that he's going to get 3 of these industrial zones built. He got one from Puteoli, which is over here. And it is a plus 2. I'm pretty sure he's going to put another one here from Rome. In between all of those other districts and the aqueducts. We do have a first legion also upgraded to the north. So he gets more points. 54 out of 55. Uh, fives uh, with a Cree. 37 of the 41. We might see him going to a dark age. It doesn't look like he's going to get uh, that many more points. And he is scrambling to get as many of those uh, crossbows out as possible. We will need to see if uh, Zulu over here is going to get enough gold for them to allow them to upgrade whatever they need. Now we do have also Yogdrell starting his attack runs on Liverpool. Looks like there's a knight uh, that's going to knock on that doorstep soon. Uh, there is uh, another horse here next to Newcastle upon Tyne that is taking quite a bit of damage. And Scythia did manage to overwhelm all of the defenders uh, next to the city of London. Uh, there's only one single archer, two tiles out in the back line on the east. And no more unit inside of the borders of uh, London here. Now we do have uh, the horses still standing idly by so to let the Saka horse archer deal the damage against London. And you can see how much damage they can do against even those walls the city is going to get a horse next turn which will beef up the, um, the strength of the city is this the original map hello there Bartolomeo uh, they did uh, actually remap once uh, both teams wanted to remap the first map the first map was insane oh my god I really love the first map and I made quite a Pikachu face that they remapped it I'm sorry I would have loved to see that map being played out Okay. Uh, looking at uh, the era score screen, uh, Gwenarth looks like he's also going to be in the Dark Age, which to be honest is uh, probably the age he wants to be in. He just discovered the courses and he can upgrade his uh, horses. He just discovered Mercedes so he can uh, get the half course card in. I would imagine they would give him uh, quite a bit of gold right now. He's on 560 points and he is trying to get another in Camon training project going. LC did get recruited, another um, general. While England is trying to get one, you can imagine they do want to stop England from getting one. Uh, courses are getting out. Fives is a machinery wanted and mercenaries is so going to try to defend with uh, just crossbows. We're going to need to see if uh, the courses will get the drop on his uh, opponent here. Now, Fives uh, can be attacked again from the north. I think that's uh, probably the best uh, case scenario, the best attack point vector of attack because Akhtakakub does have Victor and that is basically his biggest citadel, right? You want to go around. You don't want to hit your opponent where he's uh, expecting it, right? It's much easier some, uh, a lot of the times in other locations. Uh, we do have uh, also Soka getting his uh, Divine Right next turn. I do see Apprenticeship coming up uh, soon. And uh, he is uh, going dark here. 43 out of 48 points. About to take out uh, London next time. I do see these uh, Saka Horse Arches did manage to chew through the wall defenses. Even with the horse inside of it very, very quickly. Uh, he, he, he does have uh, commercials coming down from his city. So you do see more of these um, Kurgans uh, did get put down. He's on 23 Faith a turn at the moment with only 24 science and 31 uh, culture but he is uh, getting this attack run against his opponent there is an Okchitao that is coming close to him which might actually rip apart his uh, minds over here he needs to be careful about this uh, but I'm pretty sure he can use his uh, faith uh, generation and his faith in the bank to buy a unit or two uh, the Saka Horse Archer will probably push out this Okchitao or even take it down entirely we do have uh, Yogtrial with 52 um, faith in the bank 55 science and 52 culture looks like he's keeping up quite nicely with Rome is about to take over the city of Liverpool. That city doesn't have uh, the opportunity to get the walls up. It's just not that uh, easy for him. Even if uh, he could buy a unit in that city, there is a knight coming up from Byzantium and another horse. Uh, three of these units will put that city under siege. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see that city go down very quickly. Now, we were expecting an attack from Rome, which is not happening. Looks like uh, Hyperion over here is not going to move a muscle to attack into his opponent. And uh, that is going to be a problem. Now, we do have uh, another one. Dr. Zeta does need to delete uh, the swordsman or the horse inside of the city of London. Because, yeah, this tag. Uh, good evening, Nemesis. Hello, there, sir, and welcome. Okay, Corsairs are uh, moving on the front line. Now, they do have a general deployed, so I'm... 
I do see also they do have the plus three now from uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Very nice, very nice. Uh, in Camel Dream Project coming up soon, Guernardos. Ooh, England is, uh, what, uh, three turns away from getting a general. America is gonna try to get one, Scythia and Cree. Uh, I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this. I don't know about uh, this, this, this. Uh, no project over here in Scythia's territory. I don't think that's gonna be a project in Aztec territory. He didn't make um put down an encampment i do see more campuses coming around from byzantium he did he did get an extra belief right he got crusade oh baby byzantium over here is coming out swinging young real is gonna take liverpool he has an extra plus five against those cities of england and as you can see over here they're tearing apart the english empire city by city newcastle upon time will remain with manchester he has a settler that he's gonna try to put uh, in the back of rome but now rome is gonna be stuck on this island and he will need to face uh, some uh, scythian uh, vengeance over here we might actually see some scythian scythian uh, Caravels go against the city of Putoli and uh, Achillea. Now, I would uh, love to see that happening. Easy peasy wind over there. Now, also, I gotta say, Aztec is just getting crazy numbers. 79, 73 culture. He did uh, try to max out his city count. He's on 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9 cities at the moment. With still uh, some cities possible over here towards the east side. He's getting his production numbers up already on 152. Well over his. Um, uh, with free seeming counterpart which is Shaka. London has been taken uh, Liverpool has been taken uh, Yogdale keeps on moving toward the south he's gonna try to block England from actually getting his safety settler does he have the time oh my god guys we need to uh, we need to ask this big Paul will Dr. Zeta get this going uh and why does he need a unit? Wait, and why does the unit need to get deleted then? Antic 6, hello there, sir. Let me uh, let me put the poll up and I'm going to answer your question. Uh, will Dr. Zeta get the safety? Get to safety. Yes, no, check W. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so you're asking me why does he actually need to delete the unit? Um, if any unit actually applies around it, a support bonus uh, of extra plus two. Uh, the problem is when you have multiple units stacked, uh, the units around them will get that extra support uh, over there. Now, uh, it is a rule that it's getting enforced. You do need to uh, delete the units if you do have them uh, stacked. And that goes around for multiple situations. And there are some things that are uh, problematic. Um, like discuss uh, i should say subjective and uh, the reason i actually put up the poll is that dr zeta does need to move through the water he can only move two turns at a time and it's not like he's actually gonna get uh, to a place that he could actually put his settle quickly enough he either needs to go towards the south and uh, keep on going around along the coast on these uh, shallow water tiles uh, to get over here somewhere probably the rice tile is going to be his closest opportunity to disembark that settler and put down a city that means he needs to spend one two three four five six seven eight nine ten turns ten turns to get the city to safety from now uh, that's ten turns that safety is going to get to pound on his cities and with the help of byzantium he might actually take over uh, both manchester and newcastle upon time we do have also an Azt aztec uh, eagle warrior trying to do some damage over there uh, looking on the west side, looks like um, America is going to take on Kree in his um, biggest empire, in his biggest... Um, bastion. Okay, I mean, I mean, I, I guess Guernaroth is uh, that kind of a man that he really wants to challenge himself, you know? He doesn't want to take the easy path. Why would you take the easy path if there's like a harder path that you can learn from you know it is what it is anyway we do have uh, Scythia starting his attack runs on the city of Newcastle upon time that city is getting uh, damaged every turn with uh, new units uh, getting the um, adjacency on it we do have uh, Scythia also starting to attack the encampment here getting these experience points on the Saka Horse Arches is going to make them so strong uh, the settler is, keeps on moving we do have uh, Yogtrail cutting off uh, the resupply line uh, towards the city of Putoli while at the moment he has uh, some horses and a knight going towards Putoli. It does seem like a man at arm is going to get out of that city center in two turns. Uh, I still don't think it's going to stop the pillage though. There are uh, two mines and a commercial city a center that uh, could be pillaged over here by uh, Byzantium. That's a goal that they definitely need. And we do have uh, also Oracle finished in 
Thessalonica, and we'll see uh, Theater Squares uh, plus seven from Nicaea, while Constantinople did actually go for campuses, not Theater Squares. I gotta take this back. At the beginning of the game, I did think... Um, I did mention that uh, Byzantium uh, does usually want to go for the theater squares after he gets his uh, holy sites down, but it looks like, uh, well, this time around, he actually went uh, campuses, and this actually makes, uh, makes him able to trade punches with Hyperion, no problems no problems uh, we do have a decent amount of uh, production over here for hyperion he's getting his um, industrial zones down and he has a very good ones of 121 production points on hyperion while uh, york is 104 with 111 looks like york has uh, the upper hand in this uh, also uh, religion has been deployed in texcoco uh, right next to yosemite he killed that tile and he did manage to get a holy site so that means um, uh, as you can see byzantium is going to send a few missionaries so he can convert that religion an extra plus two damage Damage will be um, set on all of uh, these over here, all of the units of his opponent. Looks like you're saying no. Wow, the majority of the stream is saying no. He doesn't have 10 turns. Those cities are dead in 7. Yeah, I, I guess uh, you're not wrong. Uh, Newcastle upon Tyne already uh, losing his fortification health. We do have Scythia deploying a catapult on the front line, uh, dealing significant damage against the walls uh, much quicker than these uh, Saka horse archers. I don't have to point out that uh, ranged units are not the ideal units you want to attack into cities or fortifications. They do have a penalty of minus 7 when you do that um that's not true for the catapults but the catapults do have a penalty of attacking into units so yeah you gotta you gotta specialize a little bit uh, we do have uh, america actually uh, with the corsair core about to die over here he needs to retreat it and uh, promote it uh, looks like he did use uh, el cid to get that core uh, he does have a catapult coming up from maktaka coup and to be honest i don't think he can guarantee victory here there are a significant uh, number of uh, crossbows on the defense of kree he's preparing his uh, um, next technology and uh, he's uh, gonna get castles in five divide right in one i would imagine he's also gonna get state ups at some point he did manage to get his uh wallace throne is this a stress hole wallace throne he did manage to get uh, to mirror his opponent here both of them did get the wallace throne on their side a while uh, yes we do have zulu sending a few settlers towards the northeast uh, it looks like uh, kree is making space for him uh, so uh, zulu can come and clean this up a little bit later in the game a bit of a problem for them they're gonna be in a four versus three uh, situation pretty soon here if they don't do anything and the uh, hyperion is not gonna withstand that much afterwards especially because of um, theodora to the north not to mention we do have uh, aztec over here just keeping on the free sim 112 science with 76 culture he does does have such a significant advantage over uh, Shaka. I do have to point out, I still think Ikanda's opening on Zulu should have been uh, the way here. Uh, Saisha does have a lot of uh, production, 154 production, we do have him uh, on 125 food, he's getting his aqueducts going and he does want to follow this uh, sim up with uh, industrial zones by the looks of it. He did get one down from Ulundi but still needs to get all of the adjacency towards it. Okay, Newcastle upon Tyne, going down, just more salt on the wound, wait, did Byzantium chop out a trebuchet? Yes, he did, with uh, his opponent's chops, right? Okay, Newcastle upon Tyne is probably going to go down, we do have the three pillages here from Byzantium in the lands of uh, Rome, uh, there was no ability of Rome to actually get that going, it looks like Newcastle upon Tyne is uh, going to be taken down. There we go. One less city for England. He ha only has Manchester, which is right now going to get attacked by a trebuchet. And uh, as you can see, the units of uh, Scythia do need to reposition. Uh, there's a catapult coming out from the city of London, which is rebelling in six tens. We do have uh, the general also over there which is going to need to get onto the front line. Uh, Byzantium over here does need to keep on pounding on these uh, cities. And we do have a GG, a fast GG so coming up today. Looks like I'm going to get a bit more ages. sleep uh, before tomorrow's Hidden Cup. Remember, tomorrow, Street Hidden Cup, we do have it at the 1100 GMT. So many players are going to try out their luck over there with their identities hidden. Uh, Antic 6, uh, indeed, By GG. Uh, we do need to hit a little bit. Uh, why did they remap the first one, man? Oh, my God. Why did they even have the first one? Right, let me actually uh, switch over the screen uh, towards uh, the chat over here. Give me a second so I can actually find where the chats are. Uh, Cyberfire.com. 4v4-1 or something they, said, they told me at the beginning. 
4v4 oh they're in 4v4 too let's go in i do have to make a quick disclaimer we do have um uh, two teams that are from the french community there's gonna be quite a bit of french being spoken uh when did you say the king cup was uh, there are two games tomorrow one is starting at 1100 gmt and uh, we're gonna see one of the semi-finals there are two at the same time uh, one is gonna be streamed on me and uh, somebody else i'm not sure if hk or mal or whoever and then the other one will be streamed on trindas um, on in the evening at uh, 1800 GMT probably and we're gonna have the finals which uh, I'm gonna restream from uh, Trinda's uh, perspective let's uh, go over here also bomb the airbag hello there sir ah mais j'avais probablement les first moves c'est euh... juste que j'ai euh, deux secondes de, réa... de temps de réaction. <rire> Genre, c'est euh... pas le PC qui est problématique, c'est entre, entre la chaise et le PC la... où il euh, où y a plus de délai. Ça s'appelle la tarface photo que la vie. GG well played. Ah, mais je, je le sais. Hey, Michael. GG, Hello. 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 thanks, Michael, for the cast. Now, with my pleasure, I do have to say, big question, man. Why did you remap the first one? Who? Oh. Both of you, what do you mean? Oh, I, uh, I had. I, uh, my spawn was horrible. Uh, our Byzantium spawns were pretty Tony weak, actually. Shit and he's yeah. alone. Byzantium okay. was alone. I had mountains everywhere, and Zulu was between Aztec and me. So, not. Yeah. Uh, he could yeah. help both of you, yeah. But he had yeah, he a very bad land also. Like Zulu was yeah. very. Oh, uh, okay. we don't so. see it. We, yeah. we don't the, uh, see the whole thing, one, yeah. 1 3 2 and 1 2 3, so. I think like, it's, okay, it's good. For, yeah. for CTI, I have a really good first map, but for the other, it's not yeah. that good. And yeah. the second map was uh, perfect for us, so actually, it was, uh, oh, it was fine. Anglais, quoi. Yeah. <laughs> England got okay. the short end of the stick, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he did. He did. Initiation rights on England. I, it's been some time since I think somebody <laughs> used that on England. Yeah, no arbors as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, he didn't know if his opponent is going to try to attack him at the beginning or uh, later on. So he didn't know if he has time to go harbors or not. Yeah, I'm he did not have time, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think the first one he meet is not CTI, it's Aztec, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's not, CTI, it's not the first one I meet. It was me? Okay. Oh. I first see CTI. Uh, then Byzantium, then that Aztec. Aztec. <laughs> and oh shit. And I, I, I see the, the Aztec loyalty, but because I see a Sitian scout, I was like, uh, it's Sitian. And then I see the border, and I'm like, oh no, there's a, there's a third. <laughs> The Aztec spawn was just incredible, I gotta say. Uh, that yeah, was yeah, yeah. Yosemite the in the north. Yeah. The one the, the, the fishing boats. Yeah. I was wondering why you chose uh, harbors over uh, commercials here. Because I saw they prioritized you to have the um, higher slots, right? Yes, yes. But I, it, in fact, I see, I see uh, I had no uh, fresh water uh, next to the cap. Mm -hmm. I see I have a lot of fish, a lot of fish so uh, I go on the coast and... Uh, okay. Uh, for for the for the vegetation for the house I had uh, the fish also so it was perfect to, to start the uh, arbor. Yeah. Also I can discount uh, a holy site for uh, for Byzant, so it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, worked out well. Worked out well. Uh, also, no Ikandas on Zulu. Pikachu. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> I see I was uh, backlane, so I go for... Uh... I think it's the best decision to do if you're backlane. Yeah, uh... okay. there's nobody on hub, so you're mm -hmm. free on merchant. Probably a good call to go with. Okay, so you don't think the extra culture and the gold that you would have gotten from getting the Ikan, that's also the fast pace uh, of getting them, would have been worth it? Versus the production and the food that you get from the trade routes? I get uh, yellow land, so I think uh, commercial and Magnus uh, three uh, is better than uh, Rashikanda. Okay. And uh, maybe uh, I um, don't put um, uh, industrial uh, district on the third uh, quarter. 
mm-hmm. but uh, it was discount so I put one and after I put another one but maybe uh, Kenda was better it was the call uh, between Kenda after uh, Hub and uh, Yeah. But uh, maybe uh, I go for uh, for tank, but I don't know. I was also free sim, so uh, I don't know what to do exactly. But uh, go gold and uh, hold gold. And... gold. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. Gold. <laughs> your uh, your power uh, only comes late, very late in the game. Sticky with Victoria, yes. pardon. C'était, c'était... Uh, it's me. Euh, désolé Zeta, je me suis souvenu d'un truc de notre époque de squadron, c'est que tu jouais Kinshi et Manda. Du coup, on a... euh, Kinshi et Canada. Du coup, j'ai... Bah, oh, good surtout question. Canada. Surtout Canada, euh... ouais. Kinshi... Euh... They, they're asking why did they choose to ban Kinshi and Canada. Le méta euh, entre... Euh... Euh, mais je, je, je me souvenais de ça et du coup on savait pas trop quoi ban et du coup on passe. Après on a, on a un peu regardé vos pics et quand on a vu des Canada et la cible nous emmerde on, on l'a ouais. ouais. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Uh, I was surprised of the Canada ban also. I would have yeah, thought yeah, it, it's, it's uh, Michael, yeah, it's I don't know if you remember, I, I played with Dr. Zeta in a squadron a long time mm-hmm. ago. And I remember that he was a main Canada and we yep. really do, do not like, like, Thunder Sieves. So it was like a perfect storm just to ban Canada, so... <laughs> yeah, but it's Pangea. Yeah. I, I guess there's a decent amount of uh, Tundra, but not but as he, much. He can just high roll and the game is yeah. kind of over, so it's... I mean, yeah. against uh, any other opponent, I don't know mm-hmm. if we ban this, but just a target bad for... Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's good, that's good. There's so and, much... Uh, uh... B- basically, um, I don't know if you have the same thing but um in in the save you played in the last game of squadron uh you had like only a, a traditional uh, internal roads uh sieve or, uh, or uh, the two two or three exception were tamar canada and and russia and like we banned all three during the because like we didn't want any surprise and just we felt confident if we banned the uh, The, 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 the thing you pl- you would play that are not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bah, GG, les okay. gars. Good evening, everybody. Bonne soirée. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure, good Michael. Bye. 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 Yep. Bye. 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 So there we heard from both teams. We heard uh, the reasoning behind uh, the choices in the game that did uh, actually pose a few questions over there here and there uh, in my mind, and I'm pretty sure in yours. Uh, we did have uh, Boomer APMs managing to secure this victory, so they did go for a 4-3 in, in this uh, CFR squadrons. We're going to keep on watching to see what's going on, and if they do manage to get uh, to the top slots over there so they can get uh, into the next division in the next uh, tournament. Um, thank you so much for uh, being here, and I do hope uh, you enjoyed the show. Um, I do hope uh, also I do want to thank you also for the follows, for the subs, for the gifts, for everything. Thank you so much for the support of the stream. Uh, let's see each other um, uh, next time. Tomorrow at 1100 GMT, we're going to have uh, the Hidden Cup started up with the semifinals, and then we're going to go uh, have the finals later on in the evening. So, again, a weekend full of action is awaiting us. Um, If you're coming up from YouTube, please uh, throw this uh, video a thumbs up and I do hope we're going to see each other on the live stream on twitch.tv slash TV. Hope you enjoy the content as much uh, to give it a subscribe over there to help me out. And I do hope uh, we're going to see each other uh, also in the um, uh, Discord. You can uh, check out my schedule over there for the upcoming uh, week. Uh, uh, as soon as I get the information, I do try to put it there and update those channels. I do actually not update that much Twitch anymore. I need to get back to that. I need to get back to that. Anyway, uh, Uh, thank you so much for everything let's see each other in the next um, series have a good evening bye bye bonsoir